slap Will you with the answer?
So. Oh, well, that looks dope. We last yeah. left off. There we go. That's a little louder. Oh, we last left off. Let me know how the audio comes up. I think it's a little loud, um, but I can't tell. It's like 43 degrees. Um, so, you guys last left off in a, uh, we could say, precuous situation where not only were you guys in a state of mild combat, you guys also left your ally, Little Chill, in a state of high or uh, unique comfort, we will say. Three of you are actually uh, venturing through in the Discord channel of Little Chill's trip. Would to the two of you who are present um, like to discuss about any of the current situation in Little Cho's mind right now? Because he is still under the influence. He is absolutely incapable of doing anything himself. He he can take basic commands like come over here, sit over here. He is a non-combatant at this point in time. He is considered protect the quarterback in any essence of his capabilities of protecting himself is null as he is too messed up in his own mind. Am I still in the tree? I think I am. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> okay, let's just check it. Uh, but uh, would Ian or Chad like to uh, bring up any of the little trip experience thus far? Uh, let's just say little little Cho's mom is a terrible hunter. <laughs> <laughs> like she can't she can't find food. To save a to save a life, right? <laughs> so her children, outside of Little Show, are starving. They're all fighting to death. Basically, they're like, "Who's gonna be the last man surviving?" Needless to say, this it makes a lot of sense as to how I how Chosen was able to capture Little Show to begin with, because she was just neglectful. <laughs> <laughs> like Finally, she was sitting understand. on the. Like she was sitting on the side doing drugs, like tr herself, like trying to figure out how she was gonna take care of these kids, you know, while forgetting that she was out hunting. And then she was like, "Oh shit, I've got to get food." Some owlbear yeah. mom from West Virginia. <laughs> yeah, she, she, she come, She she hails from uh, West Virginia, a town called Mudsuck. So, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, we got, She's... and then we have the owl chicks in the nest. Where Ian is playing a owl chick named Old Bear, and his buddy Pringles, <laughs> or new friend, his allied Pringles, just murdered an, a a a uh, solo owl bear resting in the nest overnight with the other <laughs> thirteen of them, and they they just got busted as these owl bears are just full of bloody, bl just bloodied in the mouth and on their paws. There's, there's a dead owl bear in the center of the nest, and everyone else is just in their own little cliques watching them, like like shit is about to get. Intense in this nest right now. I gotta say, I'm really surprised Little Cho does not want to get down on this, but uh, he is not playing the Lord of the Flies game that we are all about. <laughs> at least not yet. You haven't really interacted with Little Cho at all, at, at in any way, sense or form. But nonetheless, that is the current situation going on in in Little Cho's head. He is going through a really rough memory sequence, and the images are awesome, in my opinion. Um, but uh, if you guys get a chance, pop in there and uh, definitely check it out. There's like psychedelic looking images and everything telling the story of Little Cho's memories of childhood. <laughs> um, but that now brings us where we currently are. Whoops, click the wrong thing for unpause. There we go. You guys are still within this beautiful, luxurious forest named the Silver Wolf Woods for whatever reason. And it has left you guys with a unique situation as you met some centaurs patrolling the area, informing you of this curse going around, or poison, or however you wish to look at it. Upon finding this ritual site and Darko and Alistar feeding into it even further, allowing it to then cause mm, issues in the nearby forest surroundings. You guys were told by the centaurs to go take care of some bullets and to be smart about it because they were smart too. You guys managed quite fine, actually, in the opinion. And then Alistar gave Little Cho drugs. That is where we now are. <laughs> I went down. Uh, Eat all my mushrooms. I'll have to collect more. 
I, I want to say, like, I was thinking about this uh, earlier today. I think we could have taken the other two. We would have been left with, like, all but one lo- HP, but I think we could have done it. Yeah, if I actually could hit them. But yes, I agree. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm glad on a different day. That we didn't have to, but honestly, I was thinking about it. I think we could have done it. We would have probably had an unconscious individual, but I had a couple more healing left. I think. I don't know. I was up in the tree. I'm doing just fine. I don't have. I'm. I got full health right now. Yeah. But yeah. Henry and uh, Marsha uh, weren't doing so pretty. Yeah, we got us. Uh, you're fine. He's <laughs> like, I assure you. <laughs> Chosen one to make statement. Alistar, do no get churros no more. You drug little Joe. Oh, I, I gave him the good stuff. You should appreciate it. That is a harsh punishment. Also, see no action from Alistar in fight. That's a, fair, that's a fair criticism, yes. Crossbow man, captain man, and little short dude. He squared. In the tree. Yep, in the tree. Mm-hmm. Plus, precious little Joe and precious little Buck do all work. Alistar just blow shit. Do nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yeah, yeah well, that's a fair criticism. Yeah. I am. And with some other shit, and he's got all those fucking pockets too. What? Did it, and I just, you know, it's like I thought he kept books in those pockets. Don't know what the pockets are for? Apparently, they're for throwing hallucinogenic <laughs> mushrooms, not for carrying books, as I suspected they were for. Chosen. Not only never give him churros, <clears throat> he never cook for him again. Oh God, he's gonna starve. Yeah, well, that's not good. He's gonna just be eating those mushrooms all day. Till, till Alistar pull his weight. If I got well, one bad, you know, the one man who can't defend yeah. himself. <laughs> that's, the, that's kind of the plan. <laughs> yeah. He also smelled bad. Yeah, I mean, he only, well, he only has a fireball, I, so you know. I respond in his defense, and he's like, "Well, I, 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 I think that I, I give a great deal of help with all my knowledge. Remember when I taught you that water's wet?" You would have learned that if I didn't read it first. <laughs> oh, hi, matey. Like we didn't know water was wet. Ah, oh, these books, mate. They're such a waste. <laughs> Alistair's back. Frozen already him, but... make his mind up. No cooking for Alistair. Who's talking and shit no about my books? <laughs> no one is talking shit about anything except you know eating any more of Chosen's food till you help. Basically, he says you're going to stop. I'm not giving you any more mushrooms, then. These are all mine. Good. Look at little Joe. Look at what he di- is going on. It Chosen, don't no give you rooms. more churros. And no more food from Chosen. No no's. Already. Oh. Once hey, I say, know. once Chosen says it, no no's. <laughs> it's probably very true. I grab a leaf. I I use Presto Presto Digitation to make it taste like a chosen churro and snap it off. Mmm, tastes just like chosen churro. Chosen only see you eat shitty leaf. <laughs> you want to try it? It's, it's tastes just like a churro. No, chosen eat the real thing, and he pulls out a churro and eats it. Inside <laughs> <laughs> my pocket. Mar- <laughs> As you see, hey, you mind if I have one of those churros? But uh, <laughs> Chosen then passes out churros to every single bun except for Alistar. Oh, this is That's a good rule. churro. Rule this escapes from his mouth. <laughs> Alistar gets put on the churro strike. <laughs> and, and Chosen food. Yeah, he's off the food together. truck. So he's no longer on discounted lunches. This dude just got stripped of all privileges. Oh, yeah, Alistar. Did you remember to bring your rations? <laughs> As I pull out knapsacks and lunch bags for everyone except for <laughs> Alistar and handing them out. <laughs> because if Can you we... do not remember, I packed food for everybody. This is true. 
Can yeah. Alistar uh, tell us what uh, he has in his like normal dry food rations? I don't sure. have dry food rations, I don't believe, but I have some good berries, some some uh, wild good berries. <laughs> <laughs> now I have a whole bunch of magic mushrooms. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Alistair is just gonna start tripping <laughs> all the time. He's just gonna microdose. <laughs> Actually, I could see a wizard doing that. That that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <clears throat> fine, fine. There's also rum for me back at the cart. I'll be all right. Just a little man talk. I mean, he just has it all figured out. Yeah. So they never heard anyone survive on mushrooms and rums. Good luck. I will be the first. <laughs> I will write a book about it. Oh, I was just going to suggest it. Definitely write a book about it. <laughs> Survivalist guide um, on rum and mushrooms alone. Now, chosen... Change subject. We're horsey men. We beat... Lit what they ask for. We beat them. Can we see any of the bodies of the uh, things we were fighting? Uh, yeah, let me see actually if they're fighting the things that... Oh, actually, yes. Um, if I do see that, I, I try to dislodge <laughs> some other plates. Oh, there's one. If they're intact. We'll say that there's two bodies, but that's what you would find. <clears throat> Can I try uh, to Henry's gonna go, yeah, and just see. Oh, he was gonna try to like loot the body, see if he could find anything of value on it. <clears throat> As you guys all work in unison to benefit from these specimens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, whoops, sorry. We'll start with chosen. And chosen, this you want to? You, you want Okay, give me a strength. Uh, Give me a, give me a, just a ooh, straight athletics. Straight. Athletics. Oh, athletics. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, Twenty-four. <clears throat> yeah, chosen uh, opens up the opportunity as he starts going and just ripping through the uh, carcasses of them, and he kind of like goes up to the one that Henry you're looking at, and he kind of just like let me help you, and he just rips it open so that you can now actually see what's you know on these creatures outside of this huge, nice um, uh, plate that it's it, this plate is very sturdy and heavy. It has probably uh, a weight of forty to fifty pounds. And the material inside of it is organic in nature based off of just when you ripped it and, and looking at the initial end of it, it's kind of like when you see like a, it's like super packed um, cartilage uh, with the lack of understanding, of course. And uh, otherwise, it's quite sturdy. You can imagine why, you know, things that will pierce or, you know, or you know, fire at it would have issues getting actually through it. Does in it battling like the flesh, like flesh-like? Or is it just cartilage underneath there? It's uh, the the uh, shell specific location is uh, more of a cartilage, and where the open wound is, it also would show more cartilage, as it's not like uh, exposed. You know, you didn't cut like there's actually a full like high beneath it. That <laughs> seems like another tough piece of thickness of leather that you can attempt to carve through. I um in battling these multiple times and always getting just eaten. I I am. <laughs> I I uh, respect these animals, but I I also want to take their plate and make it my own. You know, like that warrior huntsman that takes down a bear and then makes the bear for its like traveling garb. Yeah, I would like to eventually. Yeah. Okay. Take these uh... plates. I'm gonna try to. I counted. It's like looks like six viable plates. From a picture. Depending on your overall um, yeah. progress, yeah. yes. Uh, we'll get to that in just a second. Henry, what specifically were you trying to um, discern from this, from these creatures? Okay, um, Henry's going to pull out <clears throat> his sword and then try to like cut into the secondary hide. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, it's not hard to get a hook in to, you know, start cutting <clears throat> at it. Go ahead and give me a 
Uh, g give me a constitution check. Let's see how long you can go at this before you get a little tired. It, it, it's, let's just see. Let's give it a roll. I did just get my ass kicked, so. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you're, you're taking your time trying to attempt to get, rip into it. You know, you're not over pushing yourself. It'll take a minute or two. Probably take a, an honest, you know, like five or so minutes to get, get, a, get a decent square size cut out or even triangular if you wanted to be, you know, quick about it. Henry's uh, trying to, to cut like a there. chunk. If he can like cut circle chunk out to look inside. <clears throat> Okay. Jeez. Yeah, that'll probably take you about five minutes. So while you're doing that, uh, what were the rest of you guys doing? Do these creatures have large teeth? So when you look upon the bullet in the like frontal aspect, you see that they're actually not sharp. They're very that they're meant for grinding. But you imagine with the power and how it would maw through all the, the smoothly the dirt, uh, mm -hmm. it it can it can process. Okay. Can I try and pull a tooth out of one of, out of its mouth? Yeah. Give me a athletics also. Oh boy. Unless you have another fancy method. No, this is alright. I think it should be okay. Oh boy. Maybe not. It's gonna take me a while. Big tooth. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the big molar in the back. Um, it's a process. The biggest problem for you is keeping its mouth open and getting to the tooth and working on it all at the same time. I'm gonna Maybe try and like prop up its mouth like on my shoulder while I'm like working on. Okay. Yeah, that, that'll probably take teeth. you about ten or so minutes, um, give or take. I'm just gonna grunt the whole time. Oh, son of a bitch! You got it, uh, Marsh. And trying to recover some of my crossbow bolts that I fired. Okay, you're able to recover a third, if you can recall how many you fired, because um, some of them broke upon impact. Yeah, I would have fired nine, because I think... And you get three. Then I'll get three back, okay. Sounds good. Alistar, is there anything you were doing during this about ten or so minutes of them working upon these... Uh... Uh, oh, well, I system. collected quite a few mushrooms, and then I went and investigated what uh, was underneath the carapace of the beast. <laughs> Just for educational purposes. The undercarriage of them? Like, to see if there's an exposable, like, exposed part the or some sort? exposed body, essentially. Gotcha. So the undercarriage is actually uh, very, very thick um, in height. If you were to stab at it and take your time kind of going about it, give me a medicine check. Um... <clears throat> Henry, as you expose a chunk of it and pull out like a cookie cutter sh shape, um, you manage to see that there is raw flesh, like the like the like the beef part of a cow. Like this is like the oh man, like this could be a good meal. And then right through it, you see like a parting where you could actually probably reach through and you see what is now lax, but what m looks like to be a muscle tendon going in two different directions. I, <clears throat> I've seen these before. I know what I'm doing. He just starts to like cut that too. Okay, uh, it's loose, so there's no tension there, so it's pretty easy. But as you do, it's, it it feels like a very, very like elastic rope, very quite stretchy. Um, like <laughs> a good five, like five, like let's say, a good six inches could probably stretch up to double its size. It's okay, like Henry's gonna point. cut um, like six inches of it. Actually, no, like 12 inches of it, if you can. Give me a medicine check as you try to get in there and uh, go about your surgery. Uh, chosen, give me another strength check. And Darko. Strength or athletics? Athletics, sorry. And Darko, athletic? okay. you give me a, another athletic roll. Nice. <clears throat> uh, chosen, you managed to collect a total of three fully viable, like we're talking perfectly broken at the uh, at the hinge, so to speak, um, where the other ones kind of ripped in different parts. And you know, you're you're looking for quality, uh, and so you do manage to have three quality skills. Okay. <clears throat> Can okay, so I I set those aside. Um, roll out one of my bed rolls. And set them aside, uh, and then I 
take a bottle of holy water, I pour it on them, and then I bless them, wrap them up, and then put them back. Like, take them, kind of put them away, and start carrying them. So, you got it. You got um, it. Um, well, sorry. Um, how do I add a crossbow bolt? So when you go to the item, if you change, when you open the item up, like to edit it, um, or uh -huh. to look at it, on the left, you'll see like value, um, how many and stuff. You just click on that and it should give you like an input and you should be able to type in a new number on the single item. Uh, okay. I can do it for you too. Okay. Is the, is the second bullet body still alive or did we only like... That's you guys going across both of them. Okay, got it. Oh, okay. No, it won't let me enter. Um, okay, there we go. I think I got, you got it. it. Yeah. I'll start like to walk under the tree. And yes, say, I got Doggo, it. Thank you. It's safe now. You can come down. What? Get down here. Me? No, that's you, little man. I'm, a, I'm in the mouth of the bullet. I'm over here. Wait, are you? Oh. I know. I know. Yeah. I'm slide, screaming slippery. at a tree. Nobody's in it. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't know. 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 I agree. <laughs> Where are you? Are you invisible? Nope. I'm just in the mouth of this bullet. No, I'm just going to. Like push up the the mouth. I'm gonna yeah. be like inside of the the mouth, like doing surgery. Like nope, just in here, and then it's just gonna go, just like clamp Beast right back still up. Alive. Fire at it. <laughs> <laughs> you fire at it. You hit now, the Alistar. Thing, it doesn't seem to do too much. <laughs> now, and, Alistar, deemed yeah. worthy to attack a dead opponent, just like Alistar. What's Only up, attack when he know he can't be hurt. Can I help uh, Chosen One with taking the plates off? Uh, you can give me a medicine check as he's doing the heavy okay. part. Henry, you managed to get 14 inches with that amazing um, roll of 21 for your medicine check. Awesome. Um, Henry's going to put that in his pouch for now, and then he's going to cut out a piece of meat, anything that's like meat-like looking. Okay. Easy enough. You probably get like an easy... Uh, We'll say viable six six pounds. Pretty good. <clears throat> um, after he does that, um, Henry's gonna cut it in like he's gonna cut one pound off of it, and then he's gonna walk over and hand five pounds of it to Cho. <clears> hey, <throat> Cho, you imagine you can make something of this? Mm, chosen cook lots of things. If this like meat, then he know how to cook it. Chosen inspects it. Does it look similar to beef, poultry? Like, oh yeah, it, like, it, it like, looks it looks like it'll cook like a beef. Like you're, it looks savory. Can Just I see wrong. marbleization? Can I like? Does it look like it's <laughs> yeah, it has, like, or is it lean yeah, like it looks elk? Like, it looks like it looks like it has more of a um, seventy thirty on the lean fat. But the difference is, is that on the lean side, it's it looks like um, it looks like the, that one. It looks like there's like a, a like a I don't know. I guess a, a lack of a perfect description would be like a vein of cartilage within it, like that you would probably have to like pull out or just cook through. Doesn't really matter. Yeah. But it looks yeah. like there's a solid vein of cartilage. Got it. Randall knows <clears throat> like you you gotta cook it until it's you gotta slow cook those things so you can have it just fall apart. I may those well. I imagine well, then, <laughs> it's yeah. taken enough bites of us. I think it's about time we took some of it. Chosen, chosen agree. Chosen want to cook this log and slow. <laughs> um, after that, uh, Henry's just going to like wander off of the other one pound that's like dripping on his hands. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> chosen, walk off uh, here. Yeah. So as you hand me that meat, I unwrap it, put it on the wrapping, and then I salt both sides of all the meats. So okay. it stay, stays while we travel. 
You got it. Darko. Yeah. You, as you're going about your dentistry on this beast, or monstrosity, mm-hmm. really, you do manage to loosen up four teeth. Now, mm-hmm. what you've noticed about them so far, just kind of going about them, you, you've had your fair share of dwelling in life, and you notice that there's a sediment along oh. their teeth that is not stone or basic mineral. It seems to be gem dust of a variety of kinds. Ingrained there, not fresh, but it it's definitely has a steady steady place to go and chow down on the quality goods every once in a while. As so it's see, like, like they were chewing on it. Yeah, like their teeth, like their teeth are grinded down from trying to consume, you know, crystals that they eventually do break some down in the dust, as you see, just in, inlaid over layers and layers. But there's like a shine and sparkle to the tips of the four teeth. Is uh, is Henry? <clears throat> are, Henry, are you still around uh, the bullet, or did you walk off? Uh, I walked off. I'm uh, oh, okay. over over by Alistar right now. <clears throat> okay. Um. So I'm gonna try. Can I? Or did I? Do I have the teeth out yet or no? Yes, yeah, four of them. Okay. Um, I'm assuming they're large, right? So like I'm like. Yeah, I'm you picking one up is like a is like is like a like like a large like a large trunk <laughs> of an elder. Okay. Like, you know, like so you you know you you kind of chuck them each out one at a time, and now mm-hmm. that you're out there, you're like, well, fuck, how am I gonna carry these? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna walk over. Um, to Henry, because uh, I noticed the gem dust that's like on it. Um, actually, in Alistar, I guess is right next to him as well. So even though he's not here, um, uh, hey Cap, uh, take come take a look at these teeth here. I, what's up with the teeth, mate? Oh, uh, it looks like they've been chewing on uh, gems. You know, high value. Take a look here. Show him it's like gem dust like diamond and emeralds and rubies i'm like where do you say they come from <clears throat> that they're chewing on these stones we need to uh, go there if you want the fortunes henry right. rubbing his head mate are you trying to tell me these things eat gems hey alistair oh he's not here right now um <clears throat> uh <laughs> then why <laughs> why in the bloody hell will they try to eat us i uh, don't know to be honest with you. <laughs> oh, if only Alistair knew the answer to that one. <clears throat> really? Um, and even if he didn't know, I'm sure he'd tell us the reason. <laughs> <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Oh, 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 hey there, Alistair. Uh, he seems to be lost in a book anyways. It's no problem. <clears throat> oh, oh, I oh, wait, there he is. Oh, wait, I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Quite simple, really. Their diet, which pertains of these gems, it only gives them certain minerals. They need to get all the other vitamins of their life. You need certain proteins and, and carbohydrates. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could list out the specifics of why they need to eat you and not just gems. All right, list it out. I'm ready to hear it. Henry pulls out his guitar and he just starts playing this rhythm and it goes down 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 he's got it <laughs> marsh is like marsh is like half paying attention to what's going on he's like still walking around like picking out broken crossbow bolts going damn it god damn it and just like throwing it to the side every once in a while he pulls one out sticks it in his stash you got it <laughs> Charles and think well, we need to find horsey men so we can find quarter quarry. How tall are these teeth, by the Why way? Why do we need like, horsey men? They're about um two 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 and a third foot. So like two point three okay. feet. And uh they're square. Almost almost okay. almost perfectly square. One of them specifically seems to be more like raw down and more like Pointy, but not really you know, like a doll fat. I actually put a picture in the Discord so you can see that one of the teeth aren't as uh, flat. But I would like to yeah. bring these back as a decoration for the church. Hi, <laughs> I got no problem with that. If that's part of your share, mate, 
Uh, if we find any treasure, remember, he already took a portion of his. I'm sure you could pick out all sorts of gemstones from this. You can have a look at it later. I'm just going to go ahead and drag it over to the... Well, I don't know where the card is, so I'm just going to drag it over to the side here. Well, yeah, you guys uh, walk by foot out further in to uh, deal with this. So. Well, maybe I won't be taking all four back then. And I, uh, do you know anything else about these these monsters here? Are they do they run far or anything? It, it seems like they might have been, you know, chewing on the gems we might be seeking. I do a uh, like three check. Or something to find out more. I really want to get info, but I don't have real info. I just have to fake it. So, you, so what are you? What are you trying to provide for information on? I want to know more about the bullets and uh, their migrational patterns. Is what I would probably give him. Okay, give me a intelligence. Let's see what you can pull out. My intelligence is, is no comparison. Nobody's better than me. You, you, can, you, you go about bullshitting him, telling him that the reason they're above ground right now is because of uh, basically like the theory of Groundhog Days, and they're trying to find the, if the light's out, and if it is, then it's daytime, and if it's not, then it's nighttime. So they only come out in the nighttime, but they won't know because they're always in the dark. So they have to pop up, and they happen to pop up when we showed up, and you just really try to conflict it with the. Do you not see when the moon is at a crescent? is because of the bullet. The bullet shows the crescent moon knows. I would like to make an insight check. Sounds good to me, mate. <laughs> You'll go for an insight check. <laughs> I, I don't think there's a single person on this planet who knows more about these, what do you call them, bullets? I do call them a bullet. Aye. Well, I think oh, because of, because you know so much about it, mate. Uh, well, you have no problem. A smart like, guy. <laughs> he sure knows no a lot about bullets. That's weird. <laughs> what a weird <laughs> thing to know a lot about, but I guess he does. <laughs> they go in groups of four almost <clears throat> entirely as a species. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. One male and three females. Were you like really into bullets as a kid, and that's why you know about all this now? Is because that's the only thing that makes sense to me. It just I don't. You're obviously telling the truth. I have many courses while doing my time at the Spire Academy. One of them happened to be uh, specifically on the roaming beast, the underground subterranean creatures. And, and what a, spe is there, what a is specific, there. specific <laughs> class that you took. That's so strange. <laughs> <laughs> subterranean yes, do tell what specific class did you take, old man? Uh, animal oh, do you think we could all enroll in that class? <laughs> I will. I will write you out. A, <laughs> a, what is it called? A, a syllabus, syllabus for that course. class, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> <It's a laughs> I right, well, I've had enough, mates. I vote. Alistair here is going to lead us right to it. Alistair, just just start leading leading the way. You know so much about them. You can find it right away, right? Oh well. They travel yes. underground, so so it's rather difficult to above ground discover the location where they originated. Oh, so it see happen. Alistar move Earth before. Yep. Just oh, about to say Earth to find <laughs> tunnel. Why oh, do you think that's why he knows so much about bullets? He's trying to em emulate one. Mm -hmm. You know, this is a very good point. Let us find the tunnel, suspect. and from there, I know exactly the direction we should head. I never He's considered the gyms. that character arc for Alistair where he's just secretly a guy who really likes bullets and <laughs> he's a bullet head. Subterranean <laughs> creatures in general, bullets, gophers, moles. Oh, speaking of which, mate, here. And he uh Henry tosses you this bloody mass of meat, like one pound of it. Oh, I I got you some rations, mate. You won't be having what what happened, but uh good luck, mate. I know you know how to throw fireballs. So, presto, presto, presto. I need to be clean. Henry walks clean. off. <laughs> and, uh, Mr. DM, sir, does yes, sir. Um, my thaumaturgy and yelling for horsey men uh, capture oh. any attention? As you go about yelling, 
and trying to call out the individuals who set you onto this task. You don't get a shout back. You don't get a, we're here. You don't get a, yeah. But you can give me a perception check. Is it because you're so good at them? I'm so good at them. You. <laughs> I'm good at all checks. Until I'm not. You hear a response, but not necessarily a response in kind. You hear what sounds to be like a conflict of sorts. It's not so much a uh, like a full on battle, but as if something is struggling, you hear like a and then like scraping and then you hear something pulling it along. You hear like a and you hear this probably about within a hundred or so feet just over the hill. Uh, I head off towards the sound. Uh, little Buck, stay back with Little Joe. I'm assuming sounds this way. <laughs> I, head, I head this way over the hill. Once I get okay. to the top of the then, hill, though, I, I cautiously, like, kind of crouch down, get on my hands and knees, and do whatever Chosen would do to seem stealthy, which is not a lot, but he would assume he's stealthy. Got it. Um, okay. Uh, give me a stealth check as you try to go over. As you guys see Chosen heading off into the direction, what are you guys all doing? It's pretty obvious. He's a big dude, and you just see him walking off. By the way, what are you guys doing with Little Cho? Alistar just tossed a mushroom near Little Buck's mouth. Can I try to pers like see that, please? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Give me a perception. <laughs> okay. Alstar is really evil. He's so chaotic. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely catch Alistar slipping him with a mushroom. Do you choose to stop him? Yes. <laughs> you go in. Uh, as Alistar's distracted, he's like kind of penned, like has his hand out and is looking away at his book. And then he sees me and he's like, oh, I, I was a perfectly good mushroom. I was experimenting. Yeah. It's fine. I have more. And he walks off. He just like keeps his nose in the book as you now acquire the mushroom unless you choose to dispose of it. You did save Little Buck from his own impending trip. At yeah, I mean, I put the I put the mushroom in my pouch for now, but I'll, I'll probably get rid of it later. No, I'll, maybe I'll try to use it to make drugs later. A more potent okay. thing with my alchemy skill. You choose to hold on to it. You got it. Um, Anything else for the rest of you guys? Um, Henry is actually also over by these mushrooms. If there's anything left to pick, he doesn't know exactly what to pick or anything other than maybe what he saw um, <clears throat> Alistar throw in the one piece that he attempted to throw at the, uh, the bullet. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, but he's going to try to pick some more if there's anything left here. Uh, give me a nature check. I'm also you can find what's viable. Uh huh. I'm just gonna use my second wind right now to heal for a little bit. Okay. Uh -oh. Got it. <laughs> um, you find what you think is a mushroom. One though. Alistar okay. was very, very good about cleaning out. After that, Henry's gonna walk back and then he's gonna hand it to Marsh. <clears throat> Why, Marsh? You're always going on about making poison. I imagine that this thing it seems to have done something to to one of the little owlbees. You think you can do something with it? I, uh, I've been thinking about that, actually, Henry. You know, uh, it seems like the for as useless as he is right now, Lil Cho's having a pretty interesting time. I imagine people would pay to have the same experience. What do you think, Henry? Thinking something that might make our enemies fall asleep, but uh, that's more profitable. I, I, I like where your mind's at. Enterprise. 
Oh, yeah, with, if, you, if you can oh. sell this, mate, we can buy other sleeping potions. <laughs> yeah, you, you, go ahead. Why don't you give me that mushroom? I could use the, the extra uh, material. Henry just hands it over to him. You, you got uh -oh. it. Oh, mate, uh, before we go trotting off after the big fella, uh, don't you all reckon we could use some rust? I'm, I imagine the big one's fine, but Henry just kind of like holds up his clothes that is all tattered and the fact that he's all bloody and bruised. I mean, I've definitely had better days. Um, okay. Well, uh, you, why don't you stay back here and rest, bud, and I'll go after Chosen One. <laughs> and I just turn and I go, <laughs> and I just walk after the Chosen One. Wouldn't you prefer to rest at the car? Or to set up tents here? That's a pretty far. Oh, so you guys would have to head back first to the, uh, the ritual lo site location, and then pass that. It went pretty far away, huh? A minute. Yeah, yeah it's, it's at least a cool hour's travel, maybe. I'm just in. saying, at least a at least a short rest. I mean, we literally just got done killing these things, and we're just stamping off into the forest. Sure. Good point. Let's take a break. <clears throat> okay. Well, I already left to go after chosen one, so. <laughs> it's like I'm fucking out of here. Okay. <laughs> as you guys, we'll you. Okay. As Mar so, who wants to go? I'll go with Marsh. Okay. Uh, so three of you guys then, as of right now. Okay. Yep. Um, I enough. look back and I go. Those are being very sneaky. All right. Okay. I need stealth checks from the other two of you. All right. Anyone who stays back with us, uh, I start playing the song of rest. <clears throat> and I roll okay. an amazing D one. <laughs> well, little All buck right. and little show get a portion of that because they're staying back and resting. You got it. I'm gonna put the. Is it what time is it right now? By the way, it's getting uh toward the late afternoon. It's darker, especially when you're under the canopies. Right now, you guys are in the open, so you guys have a bit more light. But you, as you guys head back toward where you came, it does get denser. The light on the the lantern is is out. Light what? In order to maintain stealth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I got gotcha. you. Your uh, your torch, you got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Not bad checks. Not bad checks. So, in a short rest, I use arcane recovery just to get my fourth level self back. Okay, you got it. Uh, I am going to pull you guys to a scene real quick of what you guys see over the hill. So let me drop some characters real quick. Oh, so you're staying at camp, right? I'm chilling. Then we got Gallant, and then we got Marsh. Sorry, I was I just finished building the scene. So if anything's broken, that's what you guys did. Where you guys are now i advise you don't start dragging your characters everywhere as you guys may or may not trigger things if you move too fast be very specific on the movements and what you choose to do you guys are considered stealth uh, i sorry i can't uh, see my i know i am yeah, fixing your vision right now uh, oh, okay gotcha oh right my now. god so what you guys immediately see off in the distance, as you guys are on the higher end of the elevation here on this map, <clears throat> is um, oh my god! Fire. <laughs> you don't just see a fire; <clears throat> you see a pen, or what looks to be a makeshift pen, and you see very large oh. figures, assumably giants. Do any of you three present speak giant? Let me check, but. I have a no. feeling the answer is no. Yeah, the answer is no. I do not. Nope. Unless it's Elvish Giant, I do not speak it. So you guys just hear a bunch of 
And then you hear like a, a female tone. And she seems that she seems to have the authority, at least in the tone. You guys see a fourth figure not speaking. Staying next to the woman. The woman seems to be of more importance. They're big. You can absolutely make out pretty decent features from where you guys are standing. You guys are probably at an elevation of about 25-ish feet. Not a ton to be considered hidden, but the light is only focused on them as it is dark here. You do see off to the right the um, the uh, centaurs. And they are not looking too great. They're most, most of them seem to be very bloodied or injured in one way or another. You don't see all of them. You could imagine what might have happened. Or what didn't happen. Maybe they've seen. How do you guys wish to proceed? I turn around and walk away. <laughs> same. <laughs> yeah, yeah, same. This, is, a, this is not our fight. Message that we should leave. <laughs> yeah, not our fight. It sucks for those centaurs. You guys, come back to the party. What do you guys wish to do? Why? Uh, I pack everything up and head back to the carts. Yep. Well, I, I think I'm going to take I... my teeth with us, so uh, I'm going to grab a tooth. I don't want to be anywhere near. I'll pick up a tooth. That. If I see, as I see Darko struggling, he, like, I imagine you're, like, trying to pick up two teeth at once, and, like, you, you like, yeah. drop one, and then you, like, pick up, you, like, you're, like, you, just, you like, go, like, you, he's you, like, you just he's get like one. Gus, Gus, you know? What's the rush? You act like you saw a dragon or something. Yeah, well, uh, yep. nothing, nothing good around these woods, so, uh, Better we'll just... head on back now. Those would be very quiet from here on out. <laughs> yeah. Best not to make too much noise on the way out either. But doesn't think we'd be going now. Now? now. I, yep. I was just starting to play my music I, and about to sing. Yeah, totally nope, don't care. Yeah, yeah, totally don't, don't care. Quarry. Yeah, totally My. don't care. Quarry but Alistair really wanted anything. to hear me belt one out. What's Tell the problem? I know you all are tired, but uh, you know, there's time to just, you know, yeah, pack up a shit. Move gonna, on. Let's go. We're we're gonna head to uh the campment of the nomadic people, right? That's where that's our other lead to figure out where yeah. this cavern is and you know what they say: the first lead you get is always the best lead, and then don't think about the other leads that you get. That's what they always say, Henry. And we're not going to argue about it right I now, okay? Tells them think I'm other leads are dead. Tells them think other leads are definitely dead and or dying. Yes, or being Those eaten. Even maybe that. Who knows? Certainly not us. I wasn't Do unsure what giants eat. And see but... where the bullets came from? Oh, nope. Nope, certainly not. <laughs> I, giants and, and bullets. I don't, I'm not a big fan of this place so much anymore. Uh, no, uh, what do you say we got the car? I told you. I yeah. told you this place was cursed. This way. All uh, right, follow me. Party. So I, I, while we're running away, I walk over to Alistair and I go, Hey, buddy, uh, I see you got a bunch of those mushrooms there. Yeah. Uh, would you be interested in working with me on distilling these down into a more potent substance? You are my new best friend. You are doing that. <laughs> I go, That's great. I figured you'd want to help. help. That's what it is. I don't just want to sell us Ivan like tin form. Yeah. That's great. Okay. So you guys are heading back um, toward the ritual site, right? To head back to the yes. cart in general. So as you guys are traveling and discuss Karen this, Cal. you guys come back to the ritual site. And as you guys come forward, you see the stone is activated again. And there is a wounded, severely wounded centaur on the floor just mere feet ahead of you. And he's just like, He's like trying to shush you guys. And he's like, don't, don't move forward. He kind of like nudges what? as if there's something ahead. What? 
it's like, it. it's like trying to <laughs> shut you up as you guys all hear it. No, I'm like, I can't hear you. Can you speak up? Right. I'm like, offer him pen and paper. You, 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 shut the fuck up. You hear it coming from this direction, which is direction to your car. Oh, okay. God. Oh, shit. I don't speak that language. Wait, what? No. Alistar, are you next to the centaur? I'm, I was offering him pen and paper. He kind of, he grabs you, and he, like, brings you in, and he just kind of, like, he's gurgling through his, you know, breathing, as he's severely wounded, and he's, like, trying to tell you. He's like, I didn't start. <coughs> and he just starts it's like, oh, oh, and he's just trying to like catch his breath. He's, oh, you have oh, horse breath, so sir. Fucked. Sir, you have very bad breath. What are you eating? <laughs> he, just, like, he, he just throws himself against the rock in hopes of catching some kind of rest at this point. Josen chose, chooses to do some reconnaissance and goes through the canopies. To see if he can see further. And try to climb some trees? No, no, no. Like, under the canopies. Oh, like, God. slowly. With... Give me another stealth check, please. Uh, yeah, damn it. That's not safe. I... Dress the people. Guidance. Around. Ooh, I have an idea. You. It, well, I'd love to hear your idea. But I was going to say I can go invisible and check out what's happening ahead. Well, that's what I was going to say, because what I can also do is use Gash's form and, like, try and distract him away from the the site. You know what I mean? Get it, like, lure him away. Yeah. Cho Chosen goes as far as here, trying to be stealthy. Where he's at. Okay. All right. The rest of you guys are doing what exactly as you guys are still amongst that? Like, are you guys just standing there trying to figure out what to uh, do still? Alistar, or Henry's uh, asking Alistar, oh, I might. Can't you give him a good berry? You are so right, sir. Here you are. This will help your breath and make you feel better. He takes it and he just kind of. Are you giving him a regular good berry? Natural good berry? Only have wild good berries. Got it. So you're giving him a wild good berry. And he's, oh, like, he's just like. Mm. <laughs> he like puts his hands up and he's kind of like trying to choke it down. He's just like, oh, oh. We'll help you with it. And he just he lets out like a heavy sigh, and he doesn't say anything. He just kind of gestures his hand in a very weakly motion toward you. Like that's that. I'm good. <laughs> you are welcome. I did. Did it heal him? I oh, mate, you, you want to join us? He looks fucked. <laughs> wait, you can barely <laughs> heal him for I one HP. It took me a day to feel better as well. <laughs> Must admit, I've been telling you, I think, for, for weeks now, something's off with your good berries. Nothing off about them. They just... <laughs> <laughs> That's that, not words, <laughs> mate. Did you remember when Chosen almost died off of one? <laughs> yada 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 the story, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> Chosen oh, felt okay. full for three days when eating one good berry. See? You eat a good berry, yada yada yada, you're full. <laughs> Not good full, uncomfortable full. <laughs> I mean, he's much bigger than you, Chosen. Big fellas need a lot of food. Good berry, um, natural. <laughs> so, while this is going on, mm -hmm. ah, you guys are arguing over the value of the good berry. You see a um. Let's see, actually, let me have this. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. Those of you guys who can see here, everyone but Chosen, I believe, see a corpse. Oh, fuck me. And you see a centaur just brutalated as if it's been ripped up and just chunks taken, oh. and you just hear, like, a big belch, like a... <laughs> like a giggle of relief of gas. Oh, and shit. then, like, a scratching of someone's side or back. 
So I have a question. Mm -hmm. We originally came, I'm going to mark, uh, like, hang on the map. We originally came from that direction here, right? So, Perfect. like, our carts are that way. Okay. Marsh is going to attempt to motion to everybody to head north. Oh, up, up and around. And just try to completely bypass this area. That's so he's just gonna like look at everybody, do some like military hand signals that you may or may not be confident if he's just making it up, but that's what he's doing. He's like, Oh shit. You got it. <laughs> okay. And just so point. You're, you're trying to direct them, and yeah. as you do, uh, Chosen is heading back your way. After, Wait, no and not. you, well, are you not following them? You're choosing no. not to follow them? Okay, you're still going your way? Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. All right, so as you're going your own way, Chosen. Um, one second, let me move little butt back. You're definitely not. <laughs> you. I'm staying right here to see what I see and, and waiting see, and trying to... Pretending to be stealthy, but not at all. A giant come around this corner, and he sees this you. This is going to be a great martyr story. And he's just like, uh, oh, oh, my God. And he points in your direction and looks back behind you as he yells. And he immediately just stomps forward. Oh. I need everybody to roll initiative. One second. One oh. second. Uh, is he also still carrying my first show? move? Disengage. <laughs> ah, fuck. Cool, 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 oh, cool. This cool. new thing pops up. I don't have your first ability. move is cut. I don't know. It's not letting you. Tendon of oh, Alistar. Oh, oh, Shuffle oh, method. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Um, so it's only going to be you and Loba because Little Chose a non combatant at the moment. Yeah. Well, he shouldn't be a threat. He's fine. It's just kind of piss on my soul. I don't have to be first. Oh, Did you just say piss on your soul? Yes. All <laughs> right. We're learning a lot about Darko right now. <laughs> God, I really hope my next move works. Fuck. Okay. Oh, God. Uh, with that. That brings us to Darko. You, as you guys are all outside of Chosen, going up north, going to go around, following Marsh's military hand signals. You look mm -hmm. to your right, and you see this huge giant. Small person syndrome kicks in. You see this huge giant just boom, boom. He makes no attention to you guys, but paying attention directly ahead. And you hear him yelling back, Roger, Roger. You follow his eyesight. You don't see anything, but you hear a response. Go me, go me. What do you do? <laughs> okay. my, you think you could turn me into a giant? <laughs> <laughs> I could indeed. Henry, I know you're really good with the words. So I want you to do me a favor right now. I want you to remember this moment because this is the moment that Chosen shall perish. And I want you to write a good story about this day because I shall tell it far and wide and we shall attract many and many of followers. Now let's get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, that's good shit. <laughs> And I am going to, <laughs> you know, quietly still continue to walk away from this scene towards where Marsh was directing us to go. So, would I question. have moved? Sorry, go ahead. It's okay. much more important for what you heard. <laughs> yeah, question. Is a giant a humanoid? I don't know. Chosen wouldn't know that. Damn. Go on, Marsh. Um, <clears throat> can I see? I'm trying to see. I'm trying to just look at what I can. So, can I see the giant? Okay. No. 
Oh wait, 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 wait. I can see him. Yes. Uh no. Wow. I don't think so. I don't think so, because the giant can't see you and I can't see him on yours, so no. Fuck. Okay. Um Well I gave everybody the hand signal. So under oh, the would I have heard, would I have heard wave, him? Sorry, would I have heard him yelling? I guess. Yeah, you would hear him. Uh, but there's a big, old, big old trunk right here that's in your direct line of sight. Okay. What I'm, like, what I'm making for. Okay. So, but I do know the giant is there. Yes. Okay. Cool. That was, I guess, what I was getting at. I'm gonna run. So I, even though I just told everybody to go that way, I'm gonna run over here. Kind of trying to stay behind the trunk a little bit. Okay. Um, Uh, we didn't get to take a short rest, right? While we were traveling? No. No okay. one stayed. Just, you guys were. Just checking. All right. I am going to shoot at this guy. Go for it. <laughs> um, Hope you roll better today, dude. Hill <laughs> Giant rolled really low. He just did, but he went the wrong way. <laughs> I'm not very good at hand signals. Um, all right, I will. Make an attack. Oh, oh my god. Here we go again, boys. Okay. <clears throat> hey, I bet you can guess what I'm going to do again. It's make an attack. <laughs> oh my god. It's not a blast again. <laughs> This thing is giant and you can't hit it. <laughs> Literally a giant. <laughs> All right, I'm going to fire again. <laughs> Chosen, you just see just wings of arrows just flying in the direction or bolts. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. This is like. If you hit all three hits, like I think we could have taken it in one round, but okay. Did you just say Marsh was back to the tree shooting like back around the looking, corner, right? Okay, I'm looking. I'm going to use my action surge, okay, and fire two more times. Okay, as Marsh pulls up and he's just like toof toof toof, just goes right past, hits the tree behind you. You hear the rustling of the leaves. You, you see Marsh crack his neck. How he's like reloading Luan for this? Is he just like fucking yeah, Lego listing it or that. like? Okay, so especially when I use action surge, I already fire Luan really fast normally. So, but what you guys notice is that I have like um like a wrist thing that pops another bolt up into my hand. So I just go. I'm I'm just like. Okay. Constantly pulling it back and putting another bolt on the on the thing. Uh, I like okay. that. That's how I imagined it anyway. That's cool. In your imagination. Got it. Yeah. Imagination. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> oh my god. Every roll has been under ten. Five for yeah. five, baby. Let's go. What you need right now is a bard to give you some inspiration. <laughs> Oh, what you need is a rested bard who didn't already use all of his bardic inspiration and wanted to stay in the there camp and rest. Fire and you <laughs> make contact and he sticks him and he's just like, <laughs> he stares at it. Let's see, make some damage. Okay. 23. 23. Damage. damage. Hit him in the heart or something, dude. He takes 23 points of damage. Hits him and he's just like, <laughs> oh, I get to roll a d4 and, and learn something. We're going to learn something sure. today. Giant. That's what we learned. Like the magic three. school bus. <laughs> the magic <laughs> arrow. <laughs> I have no idea what the three is. Do tell. <laughs> I'm going to check really quick. No uh, that was how many shots? That was one for seven? Five. <laughs> it was one out of five. It was one out of five. One yeah. out of five. It felt like seven shots. It just felt like so many. It just... I know. I know, man. Uh, Most OP okay. character in the game can't hit anything now. I know. Um, 
sorry, I'm just looking for... You're good, as you're doing that, um, Henry. Okay, sorry, I learned their resistances or immunities. Neither of each, of either. Okay. <laughs> Neither of either. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Okay, um, so I'm still over by the centaur and Alistar and Darko. Mm -hmm. You see the centaur, and he's just like a wide-eyed, terrified, but incapable of moving himself, and he's just like, Run! The Darko, mm -hmm. Mike. Yep, he's right. I do think it's important that somebody lives to tell the story. I can't agree with you there. Then do you want it to just be me? Because that's fine. <laughs> no, I'm thinking, uh, well, you're you're the spoken man, and I'm the singing man. I think together, we really should stay alive. And uh, I don't know about Alistar here. He might feel a little, uh, a little like he wants to save these mates, but I think that it's time brave? we write a eulogy. Is this really something you two want to discuss directly in front of? Are you feeling brave today? I don't know. Some days you feel brave. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I, I, there have been days where I've been unusually brave. Is today one of those days? Or are we leaving? I think uh, just a quick peek around the corner and then I'll want out. Oh, uh, oh I, I suppose we do owe it to our mates to look one last time and at least write the song right. Henry walks oh, 35 no. feet. That's his turn. <laughs> you got it. I owe nothing to anybody. That's, that's too funny. Oh, I thought you were going to make me brave on your turn for that heroism thing. So as you oh, walk... Dude, I am out of feet. all spells here. Oh, nice. As you walk 25 feet forward towards the stone, you see... Um, you don't see. You see... No, I thought these were triggered the whole time. Whoops. You oh, see two, oh. two corpses. Line ahead up in front of him. This is the one that was thrown. I apologize. I thought I didn't know it was a I, I could see it this way. Um, oh. This was the corpse that you guys saw thrown. And this is another one that lays right behind the stone as you come forward. Yeah, but you went the wrong way. Uh, I'm just going to use a bonus <laughs> real quick. I'm just going to use a bonus real quick and be like, Darko, you were right, mate. We should go. We should go. <laughs> <laughs> and, and with that, just as an extra bonus, Henry turns around like he's going to bolt. The, the way that they came. Let's see if this go back. <laughs> All right. Sorry, that was my bad, though. I totally thought that those were there the entire time. Um, chose that be way. a U-turn. It was the immediate U-turn. <laughs> oh, God. All right, I'm going to cast Hold Person. Dang it. Can you drop it in the... Uh... Oh, that for me. Just... Just... He is paralyzed. And that's the thing. Don't think he really. Giants are humanoids. Oh, they, know. they are humanoids. Look at you bringing down cannon info. Like it, man. They're ah, humanoid are like. Hu they are not they humanoid. Are, they are humanoid. What's the difference? Yeah, you know, they are a large. They resemble so humans, yeah, but they're not based of humans. Humanoids are humanoids. like. So as you cast yeah. a person, and you feel like you're getting a hold on, you're just you feel like you're you're, you're getting the upper hand at this moment, and you see it looking at you, and it's just like, Rrr. and do you realize he's moving his head? His body is still wavering. You lose the effect. I get on my hands and knees and pray for divine intervention and just wait for this guy to fuck me like a bear. <laughs> so I just like walk up. You just turn around, just show him your butt. I I have nothing. I have literally nothing. I'm gonna get fucked like a bear. <laughs> You shall tell the story of the chosen one. <laughs> Sorry, that was it. That was all. That was it. That's all so I had. It. I literally so you don't had want to move. To do. I mean, I can move. 
Does he's he want gonna to chase me, chase my ass down. He has the reach for me. Oh my he's god, gonna he's gonna get chase a, him he's towards gonna us. A, he's gonna get an attack. You should have left. You don't, know that. you don't know that. I know all of these things. <laughs> Well, Unlike going, right, I'm going to turn, I'm I'm turn around and I'm going to run the other way. Okay, you run the other way. Um, well, it'd just be you at the moment because Little Buck is an initiative and Little Cho is considered controlled well, by would... me. Okay, so then because I... they're con- well, they're in their own initiative, and, but Little okay. Cho is the non-combatant, so I have control of Little Cho at the moment. He's too high to understand and book it with you and on yeah outside of his own initiative. Uh, but and then but I wouldn't leave him then. I don't you'd think. assume like little buck's turn is right after you so he would try to okay. run after you okay. little cho you'd hope would do the same but little okay. cho will act out on little bucks but i'll do his decision so whatever i use my max movement whatever that you got is. it i don't, I don't know Alistair, would you like to give us that sponsored commentary oh so i guess i'm just at the rock just being like <laughs> you know that uh you know the, the giants are human-like a humanoid is a creature that looks like a human, but a human like they, they just behave like a human. They're not in any way, shape, or form a human. With well, supernatural a supernatural divine intervention, I pick up a rock and throw it at Alistar. <laughs> <laughs> Copy from Wiki, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I, I heard something about evolution once, about similar things evolving, looking alike. Is that is that what you're talking about, Alistar? Yes, you can be frog-like. Make his frog like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> little buck. Presumably right. dashes toward you, um, chosen. Marsh, yes. you realize that you are now the closest one. Yeah. The closest one, as you see, little Cho kind of strutting along. He's not in a rush, but he's more like uh, going for a stroll, like a. <laughs> he's screeching at little random things, and then he goes up to Marsh, and he's like sniffing him up, giving him a good whiff. And he's just like, Shh. and then he walks off the rest of the way to the to the pack. The hills are. We are so far. He gets to the, the cross bolt that was in him, and he yanks it out, and he's just like, Ugh. goes into his teeth real quick, and you see him actually pull out something that was stuck in there. He puts it down, kind of in a gentle sense. He puts it down, makes sure that it's not pointing up. It's not pointing in any direction. It's flat. And he looks to you, Marsh. Mm-hmm. He gives a big grin. Nice and clean. He even took out whatever debris was in the way. And he's just like, Convincing guys. And he just walks up. And then you just see from the side of him, his arm lift with a big ass freaking um, club. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, <laughs> R.I.P. Uh, me. You all sing your song. Please do not. Get, 18 oh, no. comes in. It's a max okay. marsh. Well, that's not too bad. Damage. We did it apply the damage? Five, okay. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Um, then, as he does, he follows it back up. Yep. With another one. Fuck me. He hits as he just comes yeah. and smashes on you for another 14 <sighs> points of damage, and you just feel like a poof. <sighs> You're just getting smacked around right now by the great club, keeping you in place. Mm-hmm. But that shit hurts. And then you see him looking over you with just this big, this gnarly grin. Just, <laughs> oh, man, da, boy. You have no fucking clue what he's telling you, but he's telling you something. Okay. Meanwhile, You guys hear footsteps mm. out here. You don't see anything yet. Alistar, as you end your fun fact moment and close class down, what do you do? Uh, <laughs> it, it would seem our moment to run has, has quickly passed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it did. Uh, I, I believe I fucking Henry told you. will be our savior in this particular encounter. Mm. Henry, I'm going to need you to smash. And I'm going to slap him on the shoulder and I'm casting polymorph on him. I'm going to make him a giant ape. 
I have an ace. Oh no! An ace. You didn't even I make me that. a giant. Hold on. I have the ape already. I'm gonna give you permissions <laughs> right now. <laughs> So I can't use my only good skill. <laughs> Talking? No. <laughs> You're a dude. I can't even dance for it. I mean, I could try, I guess. But... Oh, no. Dance like a monkey, man. Uh, so you should have control over it, Henry. Do you? Yes. Yep. Yeah, wait. Wait, sure. Bloody fucking out. hell. Now I'm a giant fucking ape. He's just pacing back. I want to look up... <laughs> I'm so curious to know what giant apes can do. I hope it's something good. <laughs> from my great days after doing the subterranean course, I took a course on other animals. From the jungles to the hills, I found the giant ape is a very strong creature. It will do Clearly. it very Do I get more hit points while I'm the great ape, or do you I still have, have 13 the entire hit points? Stats. You have the entire stats of the great of the giant ape. So your giant has 157 HP. Oh fuck Holy yeah, shit. King Kong bitch. <laughs> um now you have Do I feel have, more powerful too? Oh, as okay, like so here's the thing with polymorph. You have you think like a giant ape, I believe. You don't take anything yeah. with you in this one. Yeah, when you're that yeah. Because that's yeah, so true. you literally are like this huge ape. Now you're not an no, you're not an idiot. You you recognize your allies, but you you are a giant ape. So your instincts are a giant ape. You are a giant ape, Henry. This is your moment. Now, <laughs> as a awesome. giant ape, you have multi attack. <laughs> if you choose it, when you attack, if you use multi attack, you can attack twice with your fist, basically like a pummel. If you choose to use a rock, you have to do, you basically grab a rock and chuck it, and that is your only attack. So you either do multi attack or rock. <laughs> And if I want to grab an airplane and throw it from a tower. I have to see if there's any airplanes in the air first. We'll roll for a check on that one. Okay. Godzilla was not an option, so I went with King Kong. But yes, so you are now a giant ape. Meanwhile, that puts us at the... Uh, Alistar, is there anything else you wish to do? Oh, no. I mean, I'll take a couple steps back. <laughs> that's, that's it. That makes sense. You got it. So, with that... Bye. <laughs> okay, uh, one one other question uh -huh. here with Polymorph. Do yes. any of my... Like, so, I'm not an idiot, right? But, does any of my other stuff carry over at all? Mm. Like, as in, like, am I a, like, really charismatic giant ape because of my mm -hmm. high charisma score? You 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 take on the charisma score of the giant ape. Yeah, including your mental ability score is replaced by the giant ape. So yeah, you are a not intelligent lack of charisma. Ape? He's okay. probably like a probably hitting twelve feet if he were to stand on all on bipedal. So I'm still smaller than the giant, but I'm pretty big. Yeah, oh yeah. You're like a how much smaller like than the giant am I? Mm, you'd have to get up to one to know. Do I have bigger distance? Pedal, I don't. Um, I don't see this. So here. you have. You should be able to click his uh, sheet and look at his uh, stats. So you have forty feet of speed and forty feet of climbing, mm. and it's you really are good in Henry. athletics and perception. Okay. How long does polymorph last? Or do hour. does is um okay an hour? All right. Long enough to hey. beat this fucker up. As long as Alistar keeps <laughs> concentration. <laughs> Uh, why? Why is it always me versus the giant creatures? Like that, that's all I want to know. <laughs> well, Chosen's nowhere near me, and you're the least you and Alistar just always picks. Henry will do it. <laughs> Great at polymorph. He knows how to transform and be so, anything he needs to be. With that, that's a new round of initiative, and we're going into the new role. You know, I really like this uh, reroll initiative. I really do. And when I do the other sessions, we don't do it. So it really bums me out because I get excited and I'm like, because <laughs> you know, sometimes my enemies are, have like the bottom initiative, and I'm just like standing there, like I'm bored. You know, I want to get up and do it first. <laughs> so that puts us at Marsh first. Dude, that's a really low initiative across the board, under fifteen. Yeah. Okay. Oh boy. Um. Um, 
yeah you know what i didn't oh god guys okay um <laughs> marsh would shoot it so i'm just gonna shoot it <laughs> I like the, the thought though they were like, I'll just dash out of here and let them take care of it. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Run, but... No, Marsh would fire. <laughs> Marsh, would sh- Marsh would shoot this guy. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Um, okay, so let's let's shoot. Let's shoot. Misses. Okay. I'll fire again. Excuse me. Nat 20. You get him square on. You fire and the first one misses. You kind of like tremble a little. And you fire across and then you're like snap out of it. And you fucking sh- you shotgun blast the shit out of him point blank with one of those bad boys. Forty two points of damage and as you do it like hit some square in like a solid uh, like a rib you assume based off of the, the, the puncture and you just hear like a <laughs> and he's just he, he's, he's aggravated as hell right now okay but he is bloody uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw some Mm-mm-mm-mm. that's how you look him okay um I am gonna shoot him with my bonus action you got it Oh my god. Okay. Well, oh, yeah. you know, seven shots, off. one one hit, or two hits, sorry. So <laughs> that's fine. I think eight uh, actually, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it's eight. Fuck. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> um twenty five percent, you know. Yeah. I so he okay, so he's close enough to hit me, right? <laughs> <laughs> That was really good. <laughs> no, because he's an oak, he can't let this out. But this is how he feels on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Please direct just, your attention to the chat. <laughs> I'm just going to oh. turn around and run away. <laughs> Got it. You turn and run. As you turn and run, he's absolutely going to swing on you. Yep. You don't see it coming. But you feel that shit in the back of your head. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I'm as still up, but I'm not you're, looking you're hot, right, boys. You feel like a boom, smack. And you just keep, you, you know, you, you're a vet, man. You've been through this once, twice, a hundred times. Like, But it still hurts every time. But you know not to look back, because that could have been a lot worse. If you looked back, imagine it could have been your face, your glasses, your pipe. A majority not of other the, things. Not the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> a little buck. What is he doing? He's watching his everyone flee. This is, I think, the first time Little Buck has ever been in a full retreat. Oh, uh, yeah, no, we continue. We continue to retreat. And I'm assuming Little Cho follows. So where are you guys overall? Are you guys just kind of running wild right now? Or, or do you guys have a goal on where you're trying to get to? Are you guys trying to run around them? Or are you still trying to go? I'm trying to, like, go up think, this way. Yeah, I think we should run up. That's kind of where I was headed. Okay. Up I mean, I, that's, I, I, I'm just wondering if it's anywhere off. Like, so if you were saying, hey, we're going, you know, west again or something, just let me know. I'm just trying to gauge so I can return. Well, yeah, back. I'm trying to ultimately get back to where the carts were. So, yeah, whatever all direction. the way back around. Let them chase us back around. And then, I mean, mm-hmm. God, God only knows whether or not he's eaten our horses. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, you know, Marsh was once getting chased on a cart. By a giant, and some wolves in another campaign. Yeah, um, little Buck is gonna use his full. I think he has sixty feet. Oh uh, yeah, and he's gonna use all sixty feet. Or no, he doesn't have sixty feet. Does he? How much feet does he have? Uh, well, with a dash. Oh, with right? a dash, yes, with a dash. With a dash, he has. What is it? Sixty feet or eighty? 
60. He has 30 feet of movement. So D60. Uh, so 60. So he's going to pick up little Cho as much as possible and like kind of push him along and say, let's go. If you want to try to push him along, he can move half speed. But I'll allow him to guide him. Okay, so then they both move at 30 feet. And with that, with that distance. Yeah. <clears throat> Somewhere around here. Close to Alistar. Very close. As close to Alistar as possible. Both of them. Oh, boy. You see Little Buck retreat towards you, Alistar, as Little Cho is kind of like coming to you, and he's like rocking. Mm, 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 mm. He's over here just jamming up as he's coming to you. As Little Buck is over here, like. Alistar. Would you like one? Look how good it is. Oh, God. Ah, Cho's about to get fucked. (laughs) By a bear. This is going to be. The hill giant, or the hill giant, sorry, the giant approaches Chosen. And he's just like, oh, I don't mind him. He comes in for two green flag attacks. There's four arrows. One, two. If the creature makes an attack roll, you can choose your reaction. No, that's if you want to help the creature. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. I don't want to help the creature. So then don't use that blessing. Yeah, I don't use that blessing. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I don't use it. Yeah. So you take 21 points of damage as this thing just comes and smacks the shit out of you. And it comes back in for another one. Peace, boys. Yep, I'm dead. You see him just coming back, man. Yeah, yeah, that was the end. That was exactly what what needed to knock unconscious. So you see Chosen it's the end of Chosen. another smack as he's just, just here. <laughs> you hear a massive ace. <laughs> oh, there is. No, I use Relentless Endurance. And you're at 1 HP. <laughs> and I'm at yeah. 1 HP. As you feel this, you see this man bloodied as you're bloodied standing in front of you. And he's like, Dokken, boy. Alistair, you have a health potion that I gave you. I know, I was gonna run up to him my next turn. Okay. Because I really want those churros. I mean, <laughs> I love these churros. <laughs> With that, it's Chosen's turn. With is, uh, endurance, you stand strong. Drinking a health potion, is that a bonus action, action, movement? What is that? It's a bonus action for yourself, it's an action to administer it. Fuck it. I'm going in. I'm going to attack this guy. Oh, right. Jesus Christ, boys. Here yeah. we go. That's how it's done. Hold on one second. I want to see. Do I have any channel divinity? Hold crit. crit and kill him. I don't think I have any channel divinity left. Let me see. Hold on. Sorry. I'm just looking at. Does that, do I have any? I don't think I do. Do I? Uh, I don't believe so, because you had used, I think, three, and that's what you have as a max, is it? Uh, two. Yeah, I used two. Oh, then two. yeah, you for sure used them. Yeah. But I do have a war priest, so I can attack two times at least. Okay, so you do the first uh, time. Hold on. Roll. But as a... No, I think it's a second level spell. Sorry. I just... I'm just... I'm going to make sure I can't... I can't do anything with that. Okay. Here we go. And we're going to go for it. We're going to connect four. I know you just rolled really low on initiative. I rolled initiative? No. Uh, sorry, I was replying. That was Thor's comment. 17, 17 hits. hits. Any damage. Yes. And I'm going to use War Priest. He takes go nine points of damage. Another, so let me use War Priest. And that's to okay. attack again. Yep. As you see um, Chosen go into a mild rage. 
he focuses strong on his target ahead of him. You hit him. Uh, go ahead. Roll again. You hit him. Two solid attacks as you just come swinging on him. Just slashing out on him. He's, he's definitely bloodied up. He's not looking hot. He is pretty, pretty, pretty beat, but he's still standing. He's just like, <laughs> and with that, I use is is me charging him with my movement to like take out his legs. Is that considered an action or is that considered a movement? Yeah, you wouldn't be able. No, it would be an action if you wanted it. Right? Even if I like ran at him. Yeah, because and, you're, like, you're speared him. Because you're, you're, you're trying to put effort into it, it would require an action to do so. All right, I'm gonna use my movement. And he's gonna get a bonus attack, and I'm gonna move. An opportunity attack? Does he? Because he used his on mine. Oh, it's a, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm gonna go for it. I'm moving up here with uh, my little my little guys. As you do, you hear him going. <sighs> as he seems to be mocking him as he flees. Dar. I dar. pull up. And I run away with middle finger. <laughs> we'll just flip the off. chosen finger. Yeah, the you chosen. You see a bloody chosen, and actually a bloody marsh. He's not looking too hot either. I look like garbage. Yeah. Yeah, you all look like fucking garbage out here. Um, I. I need our casters to do something here, you know. <laughs> yeah, something pretty cool. For for once, he, tur like, he turned him into a fucking gorilla. Shoten hasn't oh, seen anything for like two two sessions. At I'm this point, following the a great plan. plan. Um, and Peace continuing to move away. I don't see anything. Um. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm just continuing to, like, hustle away. I may be, like, not moving as fast because I'm definitely trying to take one of these teeth with me. <laughs> um, so, you know, I'm kind of, like, also focused on that. So Okay. You're um, really trying to pull the teeth. Well, absolutely. So you, yeah. you're only carrying one? I'm only carrying one. Got it. That's okay. really all I can. And no one helped you grab any more? No. And Marsh did, but Marsh has got I, more important things to do. Yeah, right? <laughs> I, I would have. I would have definitely set it down mm -hmm. when the fight started. Yeah, it was not that important to Marsh. Got mm -mm. it. Not a problem. That's it. That's it. It's my turn. All right, Henry, the giant ape. What do you do? Okay. Uh, first. Um, so this is now playing in his head. I, I just have to make sure this is going. Do you only see red? <laughs> Can you guys place what that is? I cannot. No. Uh, it's the intro for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Oh, nice. damn. I can't believe I, I didn't one. I couldn't do that. All right. Never would. All right. All right. I love that show. I was a big. That's great. <laughs> well, okay, I don't want to derail. I play a large no. amount of it. You know, no. we're streaming here. But uh, what Power uh, Ranger did you pretend that you were when you were a kid? Now I need to know. Ah, uh, red. Red. Oh. That didn't age very well. well. <laughs> I like White Ranger. I was White or Green Ranger for sure. But that's just because I like. I thought Tom was the coolest. Does anyone else want to change? Share their color choice <laughs> preference. So the I want to know. Green. 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 Okay, Alex says green. green. Darko. I, I was. I like blue. Yeah, I was probably a blue person too. For sure. <laughs> Everyone's got their own. Uh -uh. Um, Very nice. Well, first thing uh, I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna leap into this tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you fly in that direction. You don't quite reach the tree. It's pretty high. It's just but like a roar. You, you, you do land. <laughs> As you pounce and land uh, within 10 feet of this um, this giant, he just looks at you and he's just like, duh. He gets real excited. He, he sees meal. 
<clears throat> what do you do? I stand up on two and I just brah, I just beat my chest and then run at him and just slug him as hard as I can. <laughs> you got it. Give me a slug. Uh, Henry the natural born ape. <laughs> yeah. And you're like strong. I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's a very, very strong. Dude, it's like a 3D6 um, plus 6 on a hit. Yeah. When he hits, it's deep. That's a deep hit. Can I uh, roll? He has two attacks, too. That's awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's dummy thick. Can't seem to roll with him, though. Hit the attack, hit the attack button in the chat. Do you see any attack button in the chat or no? Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh my god. Oh, you roll a 12 and you come swinging at it and you like pat its chest and it stands there and it takes it. It's like, Ooh. and it's just like, oh, he's down. And then um, I let out like a weird, like, ape chuckle <laughs> and just smash him again. <clears throat> okay. But hit him, hit him this time. Please. Yeah, God, dude. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> this doesn't matter. I had to do the roll there. Oh my God. I would have done so much if I would have hit him. <clears throat> on that one. Um, I have to do the attack again. Oh my god. Holy shit. Uh, how do we trigger the attack again? Um, so you have to first click it to activate it, and then it'll be in the chat box. So click the dice like you normally would to try to roll it, and then there you go. And then you'll click the attack, and then there. It's, it, because it's, they're not your characters, it doesn't react. Ooh, yes. A 20 oh, does hit yes. as you come, as the first one, you keep your hand on his chest and use it as leverage. He's coming, pummeling down with the other. Do some damage. Not as high, but not bad. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I, so, like, I grab him and I just, like, fucking. As you come and you just him in the smack face. him. And as you do, he's just like. <clears throat> And he falls against the trunk behind him, and he's like, and you hear like this big. And, and then you just see a blood a, of pool. As a bonus, I stand back up and just start beating my chest again. He yeah, he knocked him the fuck down. He this dude is ble bleeding out in a pool of blood as his uh, his skull cracked against the tree behind him. I always knew Henry was an ape. <laughs> <He did. laughs> Did it, boys? He's a natural. <laughs> when that happens, you guys hear really close by, like oh. really, cl like, like really close by, <sighs> like a huge horn just going off. Oh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> yep. Henry, you see Henry like mocking it in his ape shape, and then he realizes he's doing the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm not very uh, smart anymore, so. <laughs> so Henry, buddy, you I this got news down, for you. You weren't you do? already. <laughs> <laughs> do with the rest of uh, your giant ape uh, movement. Did you have um, he's got 58 minutes now with my ape movement. <laughs> I jump over the body, what? and land like right next to the party, and just stare at him. <sighs> Feeling good? <laughs> <laughs> like I should. <laughs> Alice it's died. so much help. <laughs> Some scary stuff, but I am very proud of you. I heard the horn. Right? Gonna, you need to oh, turn yeah, him into that a, a lot more often. I, I think I'll just go stand over here, here near you guys. I I'm just clapping myself to, to mage armor myself. Okay. And then a uh, bonus action. I'm gonna say, chosen. You should probably take this. I hand him the the thing. But... Okay. I used my action. I can't administer it. Sorry, man. This might be the only time Henry's actually good in a fight. By the way. <laughs> this is a giant ape. That's not true. You've dealt Marsh a lot of damage. As <laughs> Alistair. Not as much as Darko, though. That's true. <laughs> you almost you almost killed me that one time. That's true. <laughs> yeah, as Alistar hands the potion to me, he looks at Alistar. Chosen needs you to do something more than this. And Chosen needs the great Alistar to act. You got him. 
I'll do that in just a second. First, I think you ought to drink this, though. <laughs> we'll see if I have a turn to do so. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> I might <laughs> die. <laughs> we'll find out. Wait, I get knocked out of the uh, initiative? Oh, sorry, that's because I had to put you back because um, I gave Mage Armor a visual effect and I, I, it was looping, so. Oh, okay. That's all good. Thank you. Anyways, uh, do you have movement still if you wish to take it? Uh, it would seem to me that I am in a good enough spot in the middle of the party. Mm. That is where I wish to be. I'm going nowhere. Let's... Yeah, no, I can't see anything either. There's no enemies around. No. Yeah, does Darko see anything? He's, I don't see close... anything. You guys hear stuff, if... but don't see nothing. Okay. Oops, I just targeted Darko with my attacks. I hope I don't accidentally hit him. But... I will, <laughs> there we go. I, I am targeted. my turn, though. It's... So you don't want to move? That's it? I'm not moving, but I will cast uh, Mold Earth. <laughs> but a tiny barrier. It's like nothing to the hill giants. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so it's just like you kind of surround yourself with like a, 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 a just, um, uh, false life kind of barrier just to make yourself feel better. Just in case they try to come from there, that'll get, take an extra step for them to get over it. Gotcha. <laughs> um, that brings us, you were the last in the initiative, right? Yes. I was yes. then. Yeah. Alright, now let us re-roll initiative and see where we land. Oh, the dead one goes first. Indeed, the giants do. The giants do. That was a plural, guys. I don't know if you heard that. Mm -hmm. You hear so where's our, where's the our horn break off. Days? And then, Darko, you're the first to hear it. Oh, fuck. As he just kind of stomps out in from the front of you guys, just with a big grin of pleasantry and happiness, and you see over your shoulder this huge boulder. Fuck me. Oh yeah, I'm dead, guys. He's, Please don't let those be my last D words. DM is DM is certainly uh, Alistar is one looking to kill someone. Dozen is two. Marsh is three, and Buck is four. If Buck gets hit, Little Cho gets hit. Yep. Fuck. Uh... <sighs> Alistar. Hey, I was two. You were two. You were one. You were one. Chosen was two. Marsh was third, and Little Buck was four. I thought you did Darko <laughs> first. All right, never mind. No, Darko wasn't in it at all. No. Oh, well, I'm good. Darko's I'm too small to be seen. Yeah, he doesn't even <laughs> see me. Real quick. <laughs> He's just looking right over top of me. He chucks this boulder in your direction. For a twenty-three, would she'll block that? Nope, you take 19 points try. damage as it flings in your direction and you go to try to react to it and you just see Alistair just get smashed. He just like... Well, actually, like... I don't get hit. I mean, no? I don't get personally hit. My arcane ward will block all the damage. Oh, baby. It, it has 18 temporary... It's so many. You want to call them, but yeah, the, the ward will go up whenever I cast that abjuration. But I'll okay, so you take one point of damage. And I lost my concentration. Well, you even roll, don't you? Yeah, you have to yeah, roll for it. There is a roll. Yeah. A wisdom save, or what is it? A con save. Con but it has to be... Yeah, it has to be a 10 or higher, because I only rolled 19. It's half the damage, or 10 or higher. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a constitution save, is it? It's a con save, yeah. It's a con save, yeah. Interesting. Oh. Ooh, you God, make it. Dude. You are still holding on to the giant eight polymorph. As you take a rock to the face, and it's just like, Jeez. you kind of wipe it off, and everyone sees you looking like Superman. As you take only a little scratch from one little pebble that made it through all of the force and the, the field in which you produce in front of you. Marsh has never been impressed by Alistair before, but this is the first time that he's like, "Damn." I asked for great <laughs> Alistar, and great Alistar is, is. As Darko looks back upon his ally, show up in awe. He just gets smacked in the back of the head. Oh, no. 
God damn. <laughs> Fuck that club coming and just smacking that dude. As, as, as Darko was looking out for his allies. Okay, I was rebuking the guy to one second. You look back and you see Brock pummel against Alistar and Alistar stand there like a knight in shining armor. And then you just feel a slug just <laughs> smack the shit out of you. As you turn around and get pissed. Um, describe your hellish rebuke for me. I'm just gonna like kind of like react and like you goddamn motherfucker and I'm just gonna like point my finger at him and uh, I guess uh, momentary surrounded by hellish flames and then I guess I'm just gonna get like angrier and angrier <clears throat> don't you know not to pick on someone this small don't you know you should pick on someone your own size and then I'm just gonna get crazier and crazier All I right. suppose what is your save um, I don't know. Okay, pull it up. I would it's a 13. 13. He rolled 13. a 16. He does pass. Okay. It does take half as much, so go ahead and give me the damage. Mm. 2d10. I have a question for you, because yes. I have an inspiration die. How does that mm-hmm. help me as a spell So an inspiration from Henry would help you if you were using a ranged spell attack that requires you to roll to hit. Okay. That's the only time. That, uh, or if it can use be towards skill checks, if it, they, um, okay, I think it, yeah, it can be used as skill checks. Too, so. Okay. So you, you give me nice, nice eight points of damage comes his way, or no, nineteen points of damage, however that worked out. As he takes nine points of damage from this, like these black flames, such as are these purplish black flames that hew out from you as you're angry. Rage goes off about how he shouldn't have hit you, Fuck and yet him. he doesn't seem to give two Whoa. shits. He's just looking at you like, Hold Darko doesn't, like, Darko doesn't like, like being picked on. <laughs> With that, Alistar. On me. You ask for the great Alistar, and you get the great Alistar. Uh, so how tall is this giant boulder here? Oh, that crashed against you. No, the the one that I'm pointing at. Oh, the oh, oh, oh that's probably like uh, seventeen to eighteen feet high. Perfect. I run towards it a little bit, and I'm just casting a uh, my bonus action, which is a step mm-hmm. above it. I can be on top. You got it. That way, I have a view. Whoops! I can fire scurvy. down. Oh, thank you. Fire down with a, a firebolt. Beat target the dude. So I just do that. You got it. Three Dallaster attacks. Gonna miss. <laughs> with a sixteen, you hit him. Oh, sweet. And as you fire a fireball in his direction, he's just like, "Don't him. He takes six points of damage. Awesome. For two D ten. <laughs> Something. Darko. Great Alistar can singe people. <laughs> um, I mean, he's really pissed me off now at this point. I mean, he hit me in the back of the head with a club like a bitch. Um, That's what bitches do. <laughs> damn, damn bitches hit people in the back of their heads. So, with clubs. Uh, I'm gonna cast a uh, lightning bolt on his ass. Uh, so good. This motherfucking douche lightning bolt. Well, I added a cool visual to this. I updated it from that basic one. Oh, what? Did it update? I like that one. What's wrong with that? Because I put an actual lightning bolt on it. Oh, okay. I was there. Gonna get a lightsaber attack. I saw it. Oh, okay. So I it see triggered, a So it triggered two different ones. Yeah, yeah. I saw one. I see like a I see like the weird background. Yeah, there's yeah, okay. like so a like, right like, thing. Okay. And then there's like, like a Emperor lightning Palpatine's. Yeah, okay. Lightning bolt. Okay. Yeah. So it was there. Yeah. Okay. I didn't yeah. know this one was still gonna show up. I didn't. So I I went through all of your guys' spell list. Henry, all all of you spellcasters. I went through like that was like seventy spells by the way. And I added as, as many visual effects as I could to all of these things in the anticipation that That's you might awesome. use them. But I didn't know that that was going to trigger still. So I'll look into it. But it's okay. Still good for visual reference as you cast Lightning Bolt. 
in its direction, it needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Correct. Come on, fucker. You're huge. How could I miss you? I need a oh, lot. Son of oh a my bitch. god, he makes it. He passes your DC with 13. Um, in doing so, he takes that damage. Give me the damage. I hate him. <laughs> All that for 27. <laughs> he takes 13 points for of damage as you fire a uh, bolt of electricity in his direction. He's just like, and he's just like, <laughs> and he just braces himself in. Big time. Anything else you wish to do? Um. Yeah, I would like to use my movement to uh, move more or less behind this tree. Over here. Go back into the tree. In my turn. <laughs> Not <laughs> up into the tree, but thing. just, you know, behind the tree. You got it. I'll save that for my next turn. What's <laughs> a cat? Like a cat so, scratch under the tree. What kind of uh, <laughs> potion of healing? Was it just a general potion of healing? Because I had a potion well, of it healing. Wasn't, it, my inventory. Was it, it was a greater. A, you can give it, it to him. That's what I did with you. <clears throat> yeah, you can just like actually give it to him. Mm -hmm. This is true. Give it to me, dude. Just, just give, give it, it to him. him. Give, give it to it him me. like Darko just gave it to that it's a giant. Giant. Like a, like a long sorry. electric dick. Like a so big it's just lightning. A general, okay, so it's just a general. Yeah. It's okay. just a general. Like general, a general lightning push. rod. Got it. Got it, bro. Okay. I gave you uh, more than one, though. You just gave me. You just gave me three, Ian. Oh, you're welcome. I only meant to give you one. But <laughs> you're welcome. I gave you them all. Yeah, I gave you. I gave you. <laughs> I definitely gave you more than one. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yep. 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 I had a when feeling I you would need it, one, but I guess I, I was wrong. I just kept giving them. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here you go. Take these. You need it. They were like they had like a rubber band holding okay. it together, and you didn't realize they were three separate ones. That was it. So I am going to use with a bonus a bonus action. I'm going to use potion of healing. Actually, what are you gonna do? I don't want to do any of that. <laughs> you just want to sit there and not do anything. Yeah, ten seconds. Dude. All right, I'm going to target him, uh, and I'm going to use uh, my beat of force and throw it at him. Okay, you got it. And he fails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you meant he fails. Oh, that's you good. Yeah. That's good. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hold on one second. You sounded so sad. So he takes 5d4 points of damage, and he's stuck inside the sphere Okay, uh, for one minute. Oh my god, that's awesome. No, so where do you get the... Oh, sorry, you got, you're good. Yeah, 5d4. Go ahead, roll the damage. I don't know how. Uh, there's a other formula on there. You can click on the other formula button. Yeah, there you go. Nine that's point. fantastic fucking damage. <laughs> I mean, it could have been, yeah, I guess that's like half. Let me give me one second. Let me just check if I just really did it. It's under the half. Yeah. Less than half. Less than half. But you got him trapped in a bead. That's pretty awesome. I mean, I I threw uh, 8d6 and got 13 damage. So, you know, there is that. We all be complaining considering that one of us attacked eight times and, <laughs> <laughs> and hit twice. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sweet. You got I've still so... done more damage than all of you put together. That's true. Very true. <laughs> okay. This is an interesting yeah, topic. Really? Okay. I dig it. I dig it. Don't forget so the jack. Chosen. Chosen uh, yells to um... Alistar. Because I believe No told me about this bead. Mm -hmm. 
goes and think now he weigh nothing. Move him away. Um, you know what? On, on Alistair's turn. Oh, you're telling Alistair. Oh, you're telling Alistair. Oh, okay. I'm just yelling it. Oh, oh, I'm just okay. Yelling yeah, Henry, okay. what are you doing? That's not my. That's not. It's not over. I still have a bonus action. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. And I'm gonna drink a potion. Got it. There we go. So now he's just. And you healed. You healed the bad guy. Yeah. Sorry. It was targeted on him, so. Alright. There you go. Eight points. Boom. <laughs> There's now a tiny. And then we move. Thing. And then we use our movement. Or I use my movement. <laughs> move behind. <laughs> Alright, I don't. Sorry, I'm taking all the fucking time. I don't do anything, man. Jesus. What do you mean? You're good. Yeah. I didn't say anything. Well, dude, if you're giving me ten seconds to do my oh, shit, that was, man, that was early. That's not cool. You the decision at the at the time. Well, because you had asked the question about the health pot, and in between that, it was already the start of your turn. So that was at least thirty seconds where you could have been thinking about it while they were dealing with the pot. But no worries, you're good. I, yeah, I, I, yeah, was, I was trying to think about what I had, and then I literally saw that I had that, and so I was trying to switch what I was gonna do. So you're good. I apologize. So what else did you want? You, you you only did one thing. You only did your action by throwing the beat. So you still have a bonus and you still have movement. No, I used my potion. I healed myself, and I'm just not, I'm not moving. I'm in turn. I'm ending okay. my turn. Okay. I apologize, Anthony. What would you like to do? as the still giant jade form. You see this. This you don't see the bead being thrown, but you see the giant being hit by something and getting forcefully compressed. You're muted. Henry. Henry. He's working on a song for me because I asked him. To give me a <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so I did a check about whether I would understand. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. I'm an ape now, bitches. What's up? I just leap at this motherfucker. I'm very shocked by him being small. Um, however, fucking punch! And I just go to punch the little tiny dude here that I see. Go for it. Some of that demon. The mouth. I hit him. Watch me miss him. He's too fucking small. Oh, oh what's up, bitch? <laughs> what's up? Okay. okay, one second. He doesn't actually hit him. He hits the bubble. The oh, bubble. No. Yep. Uh, oh, no. yeah, so however, you smack the shit. <laughs> Out of the, the bubble is weightless, so bubble. whatever force would move the bubble wherever. <coughs> yeah, that bubble flies. Um, with a twenty-eight and fifteen point. Yeah, that that sucker is. <laughs> you 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 see this big old hole in the floor from where you smash down, and you don't see anything left. Oh. And then I just start like doing this, like, fucking pumping my arms, thinking I, like, hit him so hard that I vaporized him. Whoa! Whoa! And then just start smacking my chest. All right. <laughs> and I do a little bow. We don't see anything else, right? There's nothing else around? That we can see. No, we can see, I mean. We don't see um, Last thing I do is I climb oh. up on this rock next to Alistar. Oh, God. Easy enough. <laughs> you take him as your damsel. And then, and then, no, I just put my ass right next to him. I look the other way. My ass is right next to him. This giant ass. And then, a little speaker comes out. And just please. <laughs> got it, got it. Don't have a shield for gas. That's what they mean by gr the the gorillas in the mist. <laughs> Oh, Marsh, give me a perception check. Mistake. Okay, you got it, fuckeroo. 
Here we go. Here he goes. Oh, it was a disadvantage. It doesn't matter. I rolled two threes, so. Also, by the way, that was your song about wind or gentle. What are you doing? Oh, thank you. I am gonna go ahead. Always got you. And walk up here. And I don't see anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and dash. And move. Uh... got it oh i can't because it doesn't exist okay well i'll move here and i go slightly farther past that yeah oh, 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 go off screen i'm kind of at the same time so he's moving we'll, it i can't we'll put you like yeah we'll put you like somewhere up here but you're moving out instead of in as yes. you go lateral across you got it yeah and now that is not for your carts you're looking for the mon for, for the giant i'm looking for the carts because the carts were over this so direction you know the carts are for sure over here Okay, so I'm trying to like go around the giant. Gotcha, gotcha. And move. so you don't see any more currently. Um, okay. In any in any sense or shape. Sounds good. Little buck, give me a perception check. Uh, just my question. <laughs> <Just perfect. laughs> Starts worried about burning himself to death. The little buck and use fire bolts around the air his ass. and doesn't pick up an immediate sense. What does little buck do? You're muted. Ooh, little buck's on the prowl. Little Cho follows little buck. Good Is that it? New. It's chosen at the top of the initiative. Chosen, can you give me a perception? You. Notice from behind yourself. Sounds of other giants. Most likely the giants in which you had previously come upon, following the noise of the horn. Chosa calls out to the rest of you, saying that the giants are coming. Let's move. Alistar continues on about his great ape knowledge from time to the spire. I figured it'd be useful to tell people that he smells very bad. Like damp wool left out in the sun and someone has shit on it. So before Little Buck, it is actually the uh, entity's turn. As the noises in which you heard coming from behind you, Come to surface. You see two more no giants. Most likely the exact same you had seen at their encampment appear over the edge. Coming into view. You guys hear both of them yell out as they see their their fellow brethren here laid out on the floor. And the centaur just hanging on as the rest of you guys are scattered about. And two of you are on top of this rock, very visible for everyone to see. Unten Volan! Awesome. And they just both yell out and point in your guys' direction. One of them. <laughs> He's farting. You're going to chuck a huge stone at him. With a 13, it hits as the rock flies in your direction and smashes against you for 20 points of damage. Can't I Ooh. can't any of my Fuck. abilities? What about a giant ape slippery as an eel? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see no dice. Little yeah, buck, what do you do? There. 
<laughs> I'm too dumb now at this point to even think about that. Probably I see the rock coming and I just like, fucking take it. Got it. Put this chest up. Don't let it hit him. <laughs> How do I pivot my character in this game? You hold, um, you click on it and hold control and then use the scroll on your mouse. Ah. You have Little Buck uh, follow you down as you guys continue out. Okay. And returns towards the giants. What do you choose to do? Uh, it's my turn. I am up more or less hiding behind this tree. So uh, I'm kind of looking to follow where Marsh is going because I'm just trying to get the, the F out of this situation at this point. So I would like to like go up in this direction um, somewhere. Okay. I don't, I don't know what's up here, but uh, I would assume, is it open or is it like more trees like that are up here? Because um, I would like to say stay in like a non-open area to not get like pelted by yeah, a rock there, or anything yeah, like there, that. Yeah, there's there's a couple you know canopies dotting across that you can easily probably like hopscotch and you know go through easy enough. Okay, yeah. So I'd like to follow Marsh's general direction, but like trying to stay like in cover, shaded trees area. All right, yeah, easy enough. We'll just say that uh, with your movement, and that's with the dash. Yes. We'll say you're probably about here and say feet off to the side somewhere about up okay. here. Okay. Perfect. I'll end my turn that way. Henry, as a giant, uh -oh. you see two new adversaries. Every single one you touch seems to fall beneath your paws. Uh, I leap off the fucking rock at the nearest one. Just rawr, And just fucking go to smash that one. The nearest one there. I think I... Got to move a little closer. And then, you know, to, to use a, to use a saying from my old buddy Marsh, well, I just started firing here. I just started blasting, I guess. <laughs> yeah. 24 hits. Big money, big money, big money. 13 okay. points of damage. Give me another <laughs> one. Less than half. <laughs> and I laugh and just fucking punch him again. I'm happy. Oh my god. god. Holy uh -oh. shit. <laughs> Critical great. bitch. You're the oh, best oh, I've ever oh, seen. Yeah. Oh. 46 <laughs> points of damage. You just come and smack the shit out of him. And you just. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and you're just humbling the crap out of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you're a natural at this. <laughs> uh, Anything else you wish to do? Um, so describe what's happening with uh, the giant after I just fucking laid the smack down on him. You're like on top of him, leaning upon him as you're just boom, boom, boom. And, you know, like he kind of like leans back a little and then he kind of shoves you off and he's just like, oh, and you see blood on, oh, actually I can add that. You see like blood upon his face. And, you know, in general areas in which you came into contact with him, uh, he's definitely going to feel, if he survives this, he's going to be bruised. Okay. Um, do I have any blood on my hands after that? Yeah. Okay. I take it and I just smear it across my face. And, <laughs> and then I just like, <laughs> in like a fucking stance to go again at him and just you roaring, baring my teeth. You're a you fucking got it. maniac. Alistar, upon your rock, you see your creation come alive. Thank God, he is one hell of a great ape. That's no medium ape, or a, or a little ape, that's a great ape. Targeting the same ape that he's been attacking. The little fireball. You're going to attack the same ape that he's been attacking? Same that he's attacked. Just to assist. The same ape himself? It's the same one he's already hit. 
the giant you called him an ape. Yeah, you keep saying I'm going to attack the same ape. Yeah. Yeah. I'm firing at Henry. You Take fire. this, Henry. <laughs> it bounces off of him, and it's like, doo, 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 and it hits One the giant, and he's just like, Ugh. he takes five points of damage. Yeah. That's, that's real bad. That's the now, as said by Joseph. Precisely one quarter. How much I, 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 then I use Presto to get a quarter and I flick a quarter. You'll <laughs> get. All right, anything else? No, although I've been considering running away with the rest of the crew. <laughs> Marsh. Okay. Um, you do, uh, do you? I, I don't know if I yeah, see, I yeah, have a range. I, yeah. You see, yeah, range you for sure yeah. see him. Yeah. Okay. You, you see that one, absolutely. Well, I'm going to fire at this guy. The guy that's been getting bonked on. Absolutely. Makes an attack. Okay. Twenty-two points of damage. Okay, I'll attack again. And another one flies. Um, the, the, the Henry, the the giant ape. You just see an a crossbow. You just like. Oh. He, he I, I, think I would I would look back and roar at him like ah my kill. <laughs> you get like this this ape glory oh, issue yeah. as you fire another Ooh, one. Now it's happening. Damn. Okay. Going to the ape how to hit. Okay. Yeah. For another 21 points of damage, Henry is not happy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to fire you're, again. You're, you're truly coming upon his prey. This dude is just looking worse and worse. With a you fire, oh, fuck. and where it, it should be the killing blow just goes right by, and it just kisses the hairs on Henry, and he feels it. And he looks back at you, and he knows you meant that for him. <laughs> he just has a <laughs> deep feeling that that was betrayal. But he, okay, he's not. Also, I just let out like a little like ape like chuckle. <laughs> okay, well I turn around and continue running for thirty more feet. You got it. You ran so far away. <laughs> you reroll the for round five. Darko, that puts oh, you shit. at the top. Alright. Um, at this point, can I, with where I am obviously off the map, can I see any of these giants? Do I have a direct line of sight to them? Yeah, if you can, if you, if you have a spell that can reach seventy feet, I have one that can reach one hundred and twenty. And so look at that big game time. Yes, sir. So from where you're cast... standing, if you can line it up to hit them both, then it's a lot. Oh shit! Maybe. Hold on. Hold on. Let me fix. Let me get rid of this wall. Oh yeah. This one doesn't have like a um, what, like a template thing for it. Oh no, that one's good. As long as it's within range, you're good. You can just target them. Okay. This one. And then. Yeah, like just about 100 HP of damage. Okay. Oh, and then can I use the. The eight. Here it is. Oh, good thing. You absolutely hit him. You fire across the wing. Well, the first scorching rain makes contact with him. Just like, oh. He takes five Bye. points of damage as he slowly starts to kite, get like this burnt smell to him. He smells a Oh, I have to, I have to oh, fire those three times, huh? These are... The first one... Okay. 
his uh, your guys' uh, ambiguous calculator is doing the math. The second one hits. For eight points of damage, this one comes down and hits him, and he's just like, and it blasts past him. He's like, Dur -dur -dur -dur. and he just collapses. Broke beam. Went over half damage. Is he dead? One down. Alright. Are you in range of the other one? Um, I think so. Is he? I think he's 120. Yeah, 120? Yeah, yeah, he's 80. Yeah, you're good. Okay. You can direct it at him. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. It's for 21. Four, four points of damage as this one just comes in. He's like, I was on the door now. He's pissed, but you, you, just, you just watch you guys beat the shit out of his friend, too. Um, oh. And then I will use my. Um, no, I'm not going to move at all. I'm just going to kind of stay where I am. I feel like I have a good vantage point now. Okay. So you're going to do what? Sorry. I'm um, sorry. I'm just going to more or less just kind of keep watch on what's happening. Okay. You got it. From a distance. Ooh, a buck. They're just moving towards the carts. All right. I think so they need to the be evacuation moved. Plan. Right. Like there. You got it. Before I was first turn, the giant goes. He walks up to the great ape. Or the giant ape. We keep calling him great ape now because you guys named him great ape. And he comes in for two club attacks in hopeful vengeance of his ally for that's a really cool. 21. That's, that's cool. like my new nickname after this. <laughs> <laughs> As the first one, you take 15 points of damage, and then he comes back down for another. He's like, oh, he's just smashing down on you in anger. As you, you got a razor on, you're taking the blood of it. You didn't call that. I laugh. You know, there's like ape chuckle. With if you that, could speak ape right now, I'm finally saying, like, finally. <laughs> As he pulls out uh, a side horn, and he, too, goes, doo-doo, doo-doo, and he lets out oh, another fuck. call. No! Oh, my <laughs> God! <laughs> Alistar. I, I, I can't have, like, a reaction to try to swat it from him. <laughs> nope. Well. That that might be it. <laughs> I feel like running. I'll help the ape first. I'll give one little fireball to get that assistant for like five HP on the damage. <laughs> Oof. That misses as you fire. You singed my ass hairs, bro. <laughs> I was hoping to hit the methane so that it would blow him up. I wasn't farting that time. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? The second I stood next to it, so much gas came out. <laughs> you asked me to sing you a song of wind. That's on you. <laughs> Get him, great ape. You can do it. That's, that's a bard it. always <laughs> delivers, man. Always. You've got it. Henry. <laughs> What do you do? So anyways, I started smashing. <clears throat> <laughs> Catch phrase and all, huh? Yep, yep. <clears throat> you know, he's blasting, I'm smashing. <clears throat> uh, Henry just like, just charges at the giant, just closes a gap and just whoa, all of his freaking force behind it, which means I'm going to roll the one. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Like how I have the ability to throw rocks and I literally have not used it at all. I just smash people. Oh, now 14, you come and you hit him and you make a soft pad. Or you soft palm and he's like, oh, man. Kind of rough deflecting it. Uh -uh. You always that roll the big so hit from the ones you miss. <laughs> right? <laughs> but anyways, I started smashing again. Uh -uh. 
That okay. makes contact. That hits. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Not all right. <laughs> 22 points of damage. You come and you smash. You hit him the first time, and he just doesn't take a reaction to it. And then you come in with extra force, boom, pushing further against him. And he's like, oh, and he takes a bigger hit. Uh -oh. um, and then if I have any more blood on my other hand, I just smear the other side. <laughs> now my whole right. face is red with blood. <clears throat> Got it. Crazy. Marsh. <laughs> yep. Um, am I within 120 feet of this giant? Yes. If you move to your left with five feet, you can absolutely see him. Okay. And that's what I do. Okay, I'm going to shoot him, because you know what Marsh knows how to do is shoot them. You're not going to say catch me? Anyway, I start blasting. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the one time he wasn't going to do it. And you you get do need it. to be at a distance. Like Chosen's yeah. head. What is words Holy for the Chosen Holy shit. <laughs> for 40 points of damage, you see this dude just... <laughs> And then like a slow motion. He catches his breath, holds himself steady. That hurt. Okay, well, I... You, you know. <laughs> Do the thing. I start blasting. Ooh, that misses probably. Yeah. That does miss. He's Go ahead. Well, too much. And blast again. Oh, shame. That one misses also. Okay, well, I turn and run another 30 feet, so. You got it. Am I, so I'm just asking, am I still within 120 feet of this guy, or have I passed no, that? No, you are out. You were about 210, and you were out of sight. That rock is way in the way. Okay, cool. Well, nice knowing you guys. <laughs> Chosen. Just gonna keep running towards the carts. All right, you need a full dash. Never before have so many of our crew been fearful. Get out, start still chilling. <laughs> Marsh and him <laughs> up the order. So I started smashing after he started blasting. Oh my god, we're the blast and smash! I know. I'm too far away you're now above, though. You're above me in my thing. Could you could you just like knock below just like Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, there we go. <laughs> oh my god. So for me, for me, you're to the right of me. Can you go to your left? No, sorry, you're right. Well that looks good to there me. There you go. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> It's often long working. Smash. Time. <laughs> so, Marsh, what are you doing? Um, well, I'm pretty far away, so I'm going to run and then dash. Got it. You're fleeing. Big Ben Henry, the one in the fray. Wait, I, I'm sorry. Did, did Marsh just split? Yeah. I was too far away to fire, yeah, so. He kept going. Running. Okay, well, I started smashing. Uh, I don't notice this shit. I'm a fucking grade eight, bitches. <laughs> I can't, it, you know, like, my intelligence dropped even more, so, like. A two swing oh, no. <laughs> as he catches your hand and you just shrubs it aside. Okay, okay. That's fine, because I got a second fist. Well, I was starting a little buck tie on a crit one for initiative. Second fist hits for 20, 28 to hit. Absolutely.
This polymorph is unreal. <laughs> Why is this like what we do every time? Down this guy. And you, and as you hit him, you like catch him along like the, the jug, and you don't realize it as you were slowly <laughs> strangling him to his own death. He goes down. As of right now, I bite his jugular. <laughs> you bite his jugular, and it just oh. sprays blood. As of right now, <laughs> you guys are considered out of initiative. If you guys can, if you guys wish to flee the scene, you may. <clears throat> yeah, I'm taking my tooth and leaving. You already know what Marsh is doing. Marsh is as you guys are all heading toward the carts. Uh, Marsh and chosen. Oh, Henry's and not. He's still first. like pacing, looking for more fights. Henry, Henry, <laughs> give me a D ten. Give you a ten. Yeah, Alistair, do you choose to keep the spell on him? You can end it at any time. D ten. No, you can end his spell at any time, or do you oh. leave him in that form? Seems happy. <laughs> so you even like that? <laughs> hey, hey, Henry, you great ape! We're going that way. That way. <laughs> then I uh, use a minor illusion to make a great big sign that points in the direction. And then if he doesn't notice that, then I'm going to be starting to lead you with some other stuff. <laughs> okay, we'll find out. We'll find out. Um, so give me a wisdom check, Henry. What's funny is this ape is wiser than Henry is normally. <laughs> oh my not, god! Ab- oh, no. That's not surprising. You absolutely <laughs> understand that everyone is leaving. So you follow. Henry just natural. looks sad. Like if you can if you can describe a sad looking giant ape, uh that's how he looks now as he's like walking following. He's just like so in love with the power he had in fighting that he's sad that the fight is over. And like that we're just walking back to the cart. Oh, poor big ape Henry. <laughs> mm-hmm. All that testosterone with nothing to let it out of. As you guys are all heading back and making your moves. Who, uh, Alistar, would you say that it was it would be you and Henry heading back as you clearly chose not to l- drop the spell, so he's still in that yeah, form? I'm heading back with him, but uh, I can't move off the rock. Thank you. I know, I got it. Yeah. As you guys are, real quick, Alistar, give me a perception check. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Let's get You out of are here. going to the cart. <laughs> you guys head on out just to break the field in which you guys had previously arrived from and arrive back at the cart. The wagon seems to still be intact. Each still seems to have its horse. Giants maybe didn't make it this far out yet. How it's long has it been since we you got are back probably to you probably still got like a couple forty five minutes in that bad boy. Because it's an hour. All right. <laughs> All yeah. right. Yeah, that was like only 15 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'll live in his power. He can walk, walk alongside. He can walk, yeah. yeah. No, that's true. That's true. He's large, I think. Mm-hmm. Um, I he's start. Huge. No, he's like, huge. If you guys he's... start moving in the cart, like, Henry just starts jumping tree to tree next to you guys. <laughs> oh my god um, i mean i'm adept at like normally as a pirate like i'm adept with uh ropes and everything that's one of my abilities yeah. so like well you have a climbing speed so i feel like yeah, you can yeah just... you absolutely can climb okay so chosen jumps in a cart and begins lo- loading up himself and those immediately who wish to ride with him and then another cart still resides for someone else to take lead of I get in the cart with Chosen. <laughs> who's in the I'll other get cart? I'll get in the other cart. I'll get in the other cart. Well, who's, right, who, who's other guiding cart. that? <laughs> who's guiding? Who, uh, Alistar, are you leading the other one? Yeah, I'll, I'll lead the way. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So it's Alistar, um, Alistar, Darko, and Henry? Yeah. 
Well, Henry's in the trees, so. Yeah, well, Henry's... I, was kidding. I would not get in the car because I would... So you're closer... Which cart would you stay near closer to if you had to choose um, I just stay kind of in the middle of both of them, just swinging... Okay, Switzerland. Side. Yeah, man. Oh, I mean, I, look, I'm just feeling my power right now. Like, no, I'm feeling just, me. Like, this year is Henry's pick year. Aside. Yeah, <laughs> wow, bro. Jeez. Can he feel when the polymorphism is gonna wear off? Or Look, Henry can't talk to you guys anyways. He doesn't. Henry doesn't want know. your guys' anyway, conversation because he can't respond anyways. So. <laughs> totally better. Totally fun. So, as you guys are heading further west, taking the path in which that would lay before you, I need both of my guides to give me an animal handling check. This is the fun part of the trip. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is when we. How long have? Back. How long are we been traveling? Um, <laughs> as in, from the moment you left, or, or in general. Uh, well, the moment we left. Oh, it's only been like, like probably fifteen okay. minutes. Yeah. Okay. You're trying to get into a rest. Yeah, Marsh is trying to take a short. Okay, I'll let you know if you hit that hour. Yeah. Right. I mean, Darko is obviously snoozing next to Alistair while he's driving the cart, but uh, Alistair. Alistair's obviously not driving the cart very well. So <laughs> he's just getting you make a book, I assume. I put my as own and then I pause some jumpiness <laughs> on the brain. As you managed to purposefully hit any and every post possible pothole, and if there wasn't one, you mold it to create awake. one. You definitely keep Darko up, and you, you seem to purposefully hit his side of the cart more than yours. Um, much smoother ride for your behalf. Chosen effortlessly managed to pull through uh, with his with his posse and uh, make it uh, farther ahead, probably about uh, about a 10, 10 to twenty yard lead um, with the clearing ahead of you. Chosen, can you give me a perception check? As Alistar attempts to get Darko to fall further into his loving grasp. Chosen. You see three things ahead of you. You see one. There is a clearing. The clearing is about, from this distance, maybe 50 feet. Not 50 feet from you, but 50 feet of clearing in your general sense. At the end of that, on the farthest side, there is a large wall. In such, it probably goes about 17 feet high and has no opening from this side. Third thing you see is a massive creature that you have never seen before. That you can't quite make out full details of from this distance as there are trees in the way. But you see that about 300 feet ahead, threatening this view. Mm. Threatening a wall? Yeah, you see like a, like a fortification ahead. Uh, let's, let's say maybe potentially the village or a barricade or some sort. Am I still oh. the great ape? Can I threaten the wall? <laughs> you are, are still the great ape, but this is about 30 feet. I mean, 30 minutes past, sorry. Okay. So how big... Okay, never mind. Marsh is trying to take a short rest. He's not paying attention. Um... Yeah, how big is this creature? What is... I mean, like... You're about 300 feet away, and this thing is probably if the if the if the wall at the barricade is about 17, this thing's probably about 15 feet, and that's not even extending itself. It is of non-humanoid nature. Yeah, um, this doesn't seem good. I mean, why are we even in this forest again? Um, chosen. <laughs> Chosen no want to continue. Chosen think we turn around. You pull your uh, cart to a stop to inform the rest of your allies your thoughts. Um, yeah, I point over to the big fucking creature and show them that we're probably no match and then turn around. And then Chosen starts going back toward the J JR. What do the rest of you guys do? He's he's so, copping this up as a the car here and heading and heading back. Hey, you're okay. in the car with them. Yeah, Mark, you're okay. with him. <sighs> so, do I see this creature ahead? 
Uh, or do he, I just feel him turn the cart and turn around? You feel the cart turn around, and doing so, you can quickly take a look back, and you see something, something, but you, you don't have quite enough time to really grasp it as you look back toward Chosen. Okay, I just go, I look at Chosen, I go, hey, what's going on, bud? Why, uh, why are we turning around? What's up? Chosen see bigger creature than giants we face. Chosen uh, uh, want to face more danger and kill himself or precious rocks we head back okay. we've been so fighting then, the whole time as soon as he says that i turn i immediately like, turn around and look back and try to see like what is bigger than a giant give me a perception check okay. you guys see them um alistar and the rest and the rest of you guys on the other card you see chosen turning the card back around and about 10 feet closer to you you hear him saying something about something and marsh looking back behind himself Marsh, you're trying to make something out. You just you see something. It looks big, but you can't quite tell how big because there's just too many trees now in the way. Um. Well, you know, I can't see shit. I'm pretty old, so if you tell me it's bigger than a giant, I believe you. Uh, Doesn't see non-humanoid creature. Non-humanoid, you say? Chosen say non-humanoid. Like with tentacles or what? Like what? What's not? What does that mean? I don't. No, understand. no, no, no. This non-tentacled one here. This is big creature, like bigger than Captain Man Ape. Okay. Uh. Well, so we're gonna turn like we're gonna seventeen turn around, to we're, twenty feet tall. This thing where, is where tall we... as well. So where so so where are we going then? What are we doing? We're turning around. We're just gonna we're going back home. Those are no want to be enforced anymore. We'd get ass kicked multiple times. Chosen leaving. Okay. So okay. My only question, and I hope this is fair. I don't wanna. Who's telling Cloudy? Because I'm sure as fuck not telling him. Chosen tell Cloudy he come here himself. Oh, okay. Sounds good to me. And I just go back to try and take a short rest. <laughs> <laughs> Do you tell the other cart, or are you just kind of head past them? And I'm not. I'm. Uh, I, I mean, tell... as we head past, I go. I go. I guess we're going back, boys. Don't worry about Cloudy. Chosen's got it. <laughs> I just, I'd let them know that we see a big-ass fucking thing, and it's just not worth going that way. I don't deny How do the rest of you guys cool. respond? If we, if we just ran away from a bunch of giants, I'm not about to run towards the biggest giant ever it was. Um, I'm sorry. Henry did not run away from giants. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I say we send Henry in to smash. <laughs> Crush him. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Right now, you guys are at a. Uh, you guys probably are about um, 400 or so feet safely away. You guys cannot see direct from from here what's there specifically, but you you do you do hear what Chosen and Marsh have to say about it. So what what say as a team? What is your guys' plan? Um, Henry is not a part of this. He is a giant ape. You are still a giant ape. This is true. Unless I'll start drops the spell. Whatever team does, but Chosen sees something far worse than giant. If we can take a short rest, I will be, I would say, 500% more effective. <laughs> <laughs> I need very very long long rest. Rest. Okay, I know Henry can't very, contribute very here, really, rest. but Henry strongly disagrees for him. <laughs> can we make a camp? You guys can. Chosen. You guys want to like make a camp where you are? You want to go off, off, off the way a little bit? Yeah. Just how about where? Like, you guys probably traveled less than three miles. Are we still in this the the fucked forest? Oh, we're yeah. in the fucked forest, bud. You guys are. Dude. We're yeah. not going to make it through the night. <laughs> deep in the fucked forest. Let me tell you right now, we ain't going to make it through the night in this forest. <laughs> so the wall would be a safe thing, generally. Have protection at your back. 
Well, fair. Yes, that is a good point. Unless Wait, something comes over the wall or... down at us over top, you know, because we can't see that way. Okay, that's where the well, giants were. Yeah, well, Chos and I are turned around, and we haven't stopped walking this whole time. And Marsh definitely hasn't stopped the horses. So, okay. I All have right. zero spell slots. I have nine HP. Like, I ain't fighting a fucking terror square here. All right. Like, that's just all I'm saying. Like, I'm not about to do that. Alistair and I were trying to convince Henry to eat a mushroom earlier. <laughs> so we didn't hear, hear much of anything. Henry managed to succeed majority of his checks. So. <laughs> It seemed as if he was able to resist the influences that he was provided. He was just like a really tasty can. mushroom. <laughs> All right, I suppose we must follow the rest of our crew. I guess. Oh, so how far back are you guys going to go? It is getting late in the hour. We need to find a, uh, well, find a safe, safe spot to right. camp for the night. Hopefully a place Ooh. that's well, well cooked. We'll travel back, say, half a mile, and then uh, hopefully Henry will still be able to rip some trees out of the ground for us, make a nice flat camping area. Oh, yes, that is a good idea. Henry t pulls out another tree and just throws it over the cards. <laughs> okay, you pull out like a, like a smaller tree than those. Yes, not, a, not a big tree, just, you know, like a, a mile okay. of um, it could be it could be a dead tree, you know. Which which of you guys would like to lead the survival check to find a proper location to uh, to camp? You guys are leading the way, so you guys are the head cart. Um, sure. Marsh that shows it well. Yeah, I would recommend okay, go Marsh it. doesn't. Ho oh, ho! Oh. oh, what happened there? As you guys go, I a have bit. plus five. So, <laughs> as you guys go for a bit, chosen, you look around and you see what what seems to be some rotten trees off to the. Now that you're going back east, um, off to your south, and you think that'll be an easy spot for Henry to destroy the trees to make a little clearing in which for you guys to camp. It's probably about a hundred to hundred twenty or so feet in from the path. Chosen think big, great ape, make nice flat clearing. And then I look at Henry and uh, I go, ooh, 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 and then I take out my hammer and then I start <laughs> smashing the ground okay. to give him direction on how to, how to and where to start smashing. All right, Henry, do you assist in this? Um, of course. Well, I was going to say about whether I understood what the hell he meant. Um, <laughs> okay, give me a wisdom check. I have a, a reduced intelligence right now from <laughs> Alistar over here. Yeah, but you're not unwise. But you're quite wise. Yeah, yes. you're using your your in your insights. You use your insight, which should should be your wisdom. I think. Oh shit! Oh. You know what he wants. You absolutely get what the man's trying to do. Uh, so, anyways, let's start smashing. <laughs> you got it. Um, although I I do it a little wiser, I smash them out of the way and then I like toss it back into a pile. Okay, you compile Fire them into one us. location. So hopefully, you know, other people like know I built a fire pit over or like a fire pile there, a wood, a very uh, big fire pile of wood. Absolutely. Yes. Let's just Huge. begin our location. Have a here we are. Find us here. You know, I'm I'm right here. I don't want to sleep tonight. I just want to uh, just come and kill me right now. Absolutely. I like where your mind is at, giant ape Henry. The rest of you guys, as he clears the path to aid you guys in this uh, quick setup yeah. of camp. Is there anything else you guys wish to prep before assigning who keeps watch? Um, is there any, like, um, kind of, like, growth areas that, I don't know, kind of, you know, in, like, the forest, sometimes there's, like, those growth, like, heavy growth areas like where it kind of almost creates, and stuff? yeah, like, kind of creates, like, it's, like, where it's lush, cavey, bushy type area where there, it's, like, like a kind thicket. of surrounded, yeah, exactly, is there any yeah, of like those areas surrounding us right now? Okay. 
there's some there's not a thicket, but there's some bushy bushes that you can hide under if that's what you are and fall within as a Homer Simpson if that's what you're attempting to do. Yeah, exactly. So I'm I'm looking to like snuggle in and really away cool. from like being out in the open because I'm very weary now of being in this forest and I know what's in this forest and what this forest is capable of. So I'm looking to make myself like as out of sight as possible. Okay. So as you go beneath this these this series of bushes, do you not cast darkness for once in your life? Oh no, I'm definitely gonna do that once in a degree for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys see um Darko running kind of moving around. Give me a nature check, Darko. Let's see what you what you find as the most optimal arrangement of sleep. Okay. Oh, this isn't gonna be good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> What's he do? Fall asleep in poison ivy? <laughs> Why? Why did I have to do this? I just wanted you to find... sleep in peace. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you, find, you find a bush. And you think this is the bee's knees of a bush. You're like, this is the bush. But it's it made these, of it, it has these it has these little <laughs> these little red berries on it that when you when you lay back on your back and you look up, the moonlight hits it in this neat little way. You feel like it's Christmas dangling above you. Mm-hmm. And you cast darkness and you see nothing more. As you sleep. What people don't know about uh, our good friend Darko is that he's a mover. Oh, he's a mover when he sleeps. But we'll get to that. <laughs> the rest of you. Any, any other pre- preparations as you see Darko going to sleep? Oh, Henry <laughs> has none. He's a giant ape. Oh, he yeah, like, literally he's just like, fucking goes down on one arm in the middle of the fucking space where the camp is. He doesn't care. He falls asleep. You got it. He okay, doesn't know he's going to turn back. Take the first watch. <laughs> okay. Pass out on, on the wagon. Pass, pass out on the wagon. Oh, God works. Okay, well, all right. Mar- well, Marshall, stay up the whole night then. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody helping him. Cousin, are you knocking out with the elder? Marsh is exhausted. Next, uh, cousin will. Chosen will take a watch. Okay, so chosen and and Marsh take a watch. Is there any interaction the two of you wish to have during during watch? Um, <laughs> I'm just sluggish and and basically look like I'm keeled over and dead. Yeah, Marsh does too. Marsh <laughs> has lots of chunks missing from his armor. It looks like Same. he's got like a bloody nose. His hair is like matted on one side. Yeah, the the worst looking of the two are taking the watch. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like, I don't even get damaged barely. <laughs> so, you just, see Marsh, you just see Marsh cleaning Luann. That's like He's just like that's the only thing he's focused yeah. on is yeah. trying to wipe all the blood off. You of just see Chosen trying to love Little Cho back to health, just like by petting him because Alistar drugged my my child. So you sure. got it, Little Cho. Actually, can he give me a con, uh, a con save as he is actually getting rest and um, Darko. Uh, it's probably about an hour, two hours go by while um, Chosen and Marsh kind of keep watch. So far, nothing's been going on. It's been quiet. Now, mind you, I got a question. Do you guys have an active fire? I didn't start one. Mm-hmm. I did oh, not I start one. Yeah, no. Okay. So you guys are just kind of hanging out in the dark. It's very dark for you, Marsh. Uh, Chosen, mm-hmm. nothing, not, nothing, nothing unusual for you. Little Cho feels better. He seems to be coming through to a bit better understanding. Probably after this night's rest, he'll be okay. Darko, can you give me a constitution saving throw, please? With disadvantage. <laughs> You're blind, asleep, and a mover in bed. Ooh, really good. As you roll around, you kind of like, ugh. What's that? Hold on. Now, the darkness spell 
has not broken quite yet because you have yet to go quite unconscious as you've been kind of moving around and not feeling that comfort you're looking for. But you, you're, you're, you've already cast the spell. You're already in the dark, so you're just kind of trying to settle in. You're just sucking it the fuck up. In that time, in the morning, you will start with eight less points of HP. <laughs> Okay. You don't know why yet. As you finally find a, a spot that no longer seems to bother you, and you go to a slumber and continue to enjoy your rest. You know, Darko's earned it. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Chosen and Marsh, I need perception checks from the two of you, please. You got it, bud. Okay. Oh, sorry, Marsh, you're with disadvantage because you don't have any light source. Okay. I'll go ahead and roll it again. Oh, it's not. Looks like a 17. I don't know what the heck I saw there. Okay, well, I got a 9. So you guys both hear some noises. The noises you guys both hear in the distance. Mind you, not immediately close by, but it seems to echo. Now, it seems like there's a shouting going about, but it's far. It's very far. So far that it echoes, and you hear it, and it kind of gets both of you guys a little on it. As you guys kind of come together to focus in the direction in which it comes from, you realize that it's much further, much, much further than, than it sounds. But based off their size and wherever they're standing, you imagine it carries. Otherwise, you guys go through the first half of the night undisturbed. Do you guys choose to rotate out with other party members? I don't trust anybody else to um, keep watch. Henry, so I stay by the way, <laughs> continue keeping watch. Henry, Henry is now, by is, the way, yeah. back in there. Yep, you are knocked out I'm as like the incredible Hulk sleeping. and yep, yep, just knocked <laughs> but out. But now I'm a small run. human. <laughs> Give me a con check, a con save, Henry. But so, Marsh, you choose to stay awake. Okay. Yep. What do you choose to do? Yeah, if uh, Marsh is still awake, I guess I'll still. So you guys choose not to bother anybody else. Well, I mean, Alistar won't wake up. Okay, so Darko's Henry. in a bush somewhere. Darko's in a bush somewhere, and uh, <laughs> I have no idea where Henry's at. Henry, and I'm not about up? to leave Marsh. You got it. Okay, so Marsh and Chosen stay up again. You guys do not take any benefit of this long rest, as Henry, sure you wake up three quarters of the way through. You're cold. You're on a rock, and it's really cold. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> your, your armor and stuff polymorph with you, so you are still clothed. It's just cold outside. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to clarify. <laughs> Do I get any other benefits of this long rest other than the HP, or am I getting nothing from this? So you benefit from the long rest. You're just gonna wake up with eight eight less HP um, per okay. day. Uh, you're, you're so so like you're gonna just wake up with eight damage. Okay. So Henry, you wake up cold. Okay. Uh, I guess, and I. Look around to where I can see another one of the crew who's still uh, that well that I can find. Um, and Henry goes and uh, gets close to them and sleeps there again if possible. You see Alistar? Do you really get that close? Yeah. Alistar, give me a. Perception. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't hear it. I don't. 
Henry successfully cuddles. But that was tough. <laughs> oh man. He goes right back to sleep. You'll, you'll enjoy it because I have prestidigitation make myself the extra warm on my clothes. <laughs> That's probably why just like I like just fell asleep like immediately. A, a heated blanket. Yeah, right. Chosen in Marsh. Give me another perception check with disadvantage. You guys have a point of exhaustion. Okay. Cool. Um, okay, I set it. I set my exhaustion level to level one, so disadvantage on ability checks. Definitely. Yeah. I set your shows and your set. Okay. That's really good. Give me a sec. You guys really should have got some rest. As you guys keep watch, <laughs> you guys are tired. You guys are real tired. Uh, but you manage to stay awake to where sunbreak rises. As it does. Marsh, you kind of open your eyes just a little. And you see this standing in front of you, not in that form, but standing upon you, very skinny, like reddish in tone, brimstone figure, with this very unique. I guess if you had to think out of out of character, Japanese like oni armor with a large <laughs> glaive, and they look over you with a smile. Chosen. Sure. You. Slowly kind of nodding in and out. But you kind of catch yourself and look up. And you see, not the prettiest of views, this giant female-looking leader of sorts. She's adorned with nice bracelets and accessories, and her club is spite. And if you look real carefully as a quick glance, even though you're tired, you got real familiar with it, you look to be full of shells, shattered and shoved into it, however. And she looks over you and she's like, what's the happen then? That is where we're going to stop tonight's episode. Mm. And we'll see whether or not you guys take it further Shit. in Discord or pick it up next session. Oh, oh God. <laughs> the rest of the party is asleep. Actually, the rest of the party, everyone that was sleeping, basically, uh, you three, other than Marsh and uh, Chosen, give me a perception. See, I mean, their voices aren't, aren't light. She wasn't whispering. She was definitely in more of a gloat. Hey, girl. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Darko wakes up. Darko in the bush. And I didn't Darko. get very good sleep, Henry. apparently. Darko in the bush. Anyway, so... <laughs> Henry, I need a perception for you. And then, so Darko, you do wake up. As you wake up, you don't wake up hearing anything. You don't wake up alarmed. You wake up and you're like, oh, what the hell was that? And you look and you got these little thorns prickled all over your body, just in like all locations. You were just rolling. And as you look carefully, you're like, oh, fuck. You walked into a thorn bush and slept in that sucker, and in the dead of night, you couldn't tell the difference. What the fuck? I must have been so tired, I didn't even notice I was getting pricked in the ass all night. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, this is going to take all day. Chosen, <laughs> praise to his God. Chosen, give me a D100. As Henry and Alistar sleep on through... Oh, fuck. Okay. Wow. I was going for a one. <laughs> uh, Maybe that's a trick. <laughs> you hear a voice. A familiar voice. And then they're like, Oh, you're still alive. I was only given a week to monitor you. How are you doing? And I will message you with Mur in the Discord. Darko is awake, unaware. Marsh and Chosen have two different adversaries in front of them. Chosen 
has a shoulder passenger of myrrh speaking in his mind. As Henry Alistar and the Owlbears are all asleep. We'll see where this leads us. Awesome. <laughs> Great set. All right. Yep. All right.